Luna, 19 seconds. Jeez. Hi, Luna. That fastest is you. You have like, you are the most naughty and the fastest. <laughs> you would think so it's it's weird it does for me because i i look at molly's stream most of the time but if i have if i have to tab active it will but if it's on a background tab then it doesn't and i think that's to do with browser settings like some sort of memory saving thing maybe I don't know oh shit I'm still in project zomboid category that's gonna be confusing isn't it Echo's gonna be like, what the fuck, Dal? All right, let me, uh, I need to go get some socks on and a uh, caddy because I'm really fucking cold. Yesterday it was like, the high was like 79, and today, well it's 66 in my room, so that's enough for me to feel cold. Yes. It's 54 out right now. Oh, we're in an ad break now. Okay. I'm putting on my special socks at Echo Scent. I'm not sure. <laughs> Yay, Echo Socks. Um, oh, you know, this come over here. It always feels weird. Ugh, it always feels weird talking to you guys when I can't see you. Like, I can't see your faces, so I can't, you know, like, gauge reaction. Hi, Toast. Oh. Um, or something. I don't know. It just feels weird not being able to. I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm struggling a bit with cramps <laughs> and uh, PMS today, so uh, bear with me if I start making strange squeaky sounds or take off to throw up or get a bit grumpy. It's not you, it's me. I, I very... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I very nearly cancelled stream today and I'm like no because sometimes hanging out with you guys makes me feel better so L what little unicorn oh yeah I'm wearing one of my t-shirts today it's like a thickish t-shirt from uh, stream anniversary a couple of years ago actually yeah no, you guys can be full on fucking bratty, that's fine. I just may not be as engaged in the shenanigans as usual. But you guys always will make me feel better, so just by being here. Yeah. 
Also, I have my yarn earrings in. I kind of love. Oh, that sounds good. I do, do have my heat pad, but it's kind of awkward when I'm doing yarny stuff because I move around too much. Flint, um, <laughs> my cramps were so bad last night that I was in tears and <laughs> Flint has this thing where like, he knows if it's really bad. I, I mean, obviously the the crying bit kind of gives it away but he's really good at knowing what I need and so he he lays on my tummy and like the pressure of the weight helps immensely sometimes with, like when the cramps are really big so he was just like laying on my tummy for me and I was like oh and it was so sweet and I was so PM like PMSy. I haven't even got the fucking period yet. It was so PMEC that that made me cry because he was just being so sweet. <laughs> I'm a, I was a bit of a mess. Little bit of a mess. Um, but that's okay. Yes, it's there's there's a whole lot going on right now. So, um, we are working on the crochet blanket today. I'm waiting for Pyro to um, message me back because Pyro got the first row for the year, the first sub for the year. Um, so I can't start the scarf until he tells me what color he wants. So that's that's helpful. And I know he's I know he's been around because I saw him on the projects on Lloyd's earlier today. Um so yes. Um Oh also oh I haven't that's what I missed. I, I missed, didn't do a get a giveaway done. Um I've opened up the giveaway for the blankets. Um, so next Sunday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, we'll draw the winners for both blankets. So the one that is complete and the one I'm working on today, even though it's not finished, I'll finish it first um, and then send it out. So um, I did tag the notice board in Discord for it, but let me. Uh, so you can either basically there's no ticket cost. Um, I'm doing it through stream elements so you can either go directly to that link or you can just do exclamation mark ticket or exclamation mark enter in chat everyone just gets one ticket doesn't cost anything um, and that's what you need to do you don't even need to be here tomorrow next Sunday to to, to claim your prize um, I've kept it simple like that because I like simple. Um, I'm not going to use... I am going to set up a chat command with instructions, but I'm not going to use... Um, should work. Let me just double check. Uh, I'm not going to use the giveaway word. Okay, maybe try ticket. Yes, I did it wrong. It did not work. Drax, is it? It's not. No, it's not closed. Why is it not working? I have no. <laughs> Drax is the only entry in there so far. Why is it not letting me do... Oh, hang on a second. Please, please hold. Rex? <laughs> yeah, so much for, for Luna being the naughtiest. Oh, it's like, why is this so weird? I forgot I zoomed in on everything. Um... 
Yeah, you've got a pretty good chance right now. I think maybe I turned off. Why is it not working? I don't understand. Drakex. That sounds like you've got a, a furball. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, uh, yeah. Well, I'll. Oh, wait, because I'm looking at the wrong fucking thing. I'm looking at my list as a user rather than. Okay. Okay. Okay, it should work now, Luna. Theoretically. Now the page is like, mm, yes, okay, that worked. I had I had the command disabled. So it's enter and ticket works. Um, I'll set up a chat command with information about it, but I don't want to use the word giveaway because it it's not that I don't want to share these things with new people. But most of the people who come in specifically when they see the word giveaway are looking for games, gift cards, etc. Um, and I want I want the community to get these blankets. I don't want an unknown. I'm not xenophobic. I just want someone that I know to win the blankets because I put so much fucking work into them. I think that's okay. No, it is okay. There is no think. Oh, there, there is no think. I should just stop there. There is no think. There's no think. Okay, so I got that figured out. Good job, me. Okay, so now Lunar and Drax, you still got a pretty good chance there. Hey, stop that. Um, so yes, that's the plan. There are two. Well, actually, you're right. Well, wouldn't it be funny if Drax got both? Um, it is open internationally. I will say though, if an international winner is drawn, I will need help with covering the shipping costs because I'm a broke house bitch and uh, I can't afford shipping overseas. <laughs> so that's that's the uh, the rider on international entries. You win it, you pay for it. it just doesn't really sound that great. I'm doing so fucking good at wording today. Good job, me. Um, yeah. Stuff. Uh, should we do crochet now? It's fine. Well, we I know we've got like we've got friends in like the UK and New Zealand and Australia. Um, so I I think I've done that before actually. I uh, also hair my nails for this week. I'm not digging them though. They didn't go on very well and they're all chippy and gross. Um, so yes, blanket. We have um, 67 granny squares to make from December. So I could possibly knock that, that out between now and my birthday if I crochet every single day. <laughs> Easy peasy. It is a lot. Um, so I've got that, and uh, I have started the counter. You'll see up there as well. <laughs> up there, uh, the counters for the rows. Um, so I really need Pyro uh, to get back to me, because I can't start the blanket until Pyro tells me what color he wants. Um. I just had like a loose bit. Uh, where, where'd it go? I just want, I just saw a hangnail and now I can't see it. Okay, well, never mind. I'll cut that off later. 
Um, so yes. I probably should make the giveaway command, right? Sounds like it might be useful. Like a mojo? Yes, I will. Actually, I'll find it on my crochet. These cuticle trimmers are amazing for that. Okay, um... God, now I'm just like, healing my fingers too much. So yes, we're still slowly chugging through... Blankets... Um, we're we're on the st basically all of the squares are from December because I missed like three crafting streams and that's basically fifteen squares a day if I'm going at a good clip. Um, so that may have been another motivator to make me actually stream today. Because I was like, okay. I don't necessarily know that the roads will be any easier um, or faster, but I feel like they should be easier. I don't know. Actually, maybe they will be faster. I don't know. Um... Let me just check this chart and see which color is next. Honestly, I'm looking forward to not needing uh, <laughs> uh yeah. I said I'm looking forward to not needing a chart for the colors, like just straight up having a um leaves okay just having like a simple color name is just gonna make life so much easier as well um also we moved our sub sims in on wednesday um we now have vampire and werewolves as an option, so if that strikes your fancy, you can do one of those. Um, I've updated the list. Yeah, you do. Um, so now my, my list is up to date there. What the fuck were my doing there? Oh, okay. Um, so Dirty Toes got... Oh, I just started working with the tail. Uh, Dirty Toes got a couple more expansions. So there's more to pick from there. So don't forget that you can be a werewolf and a vampire now, as well as a fairy. Or, not a fairy, but like a sorcerer. I, I don't know what the term is in game. So we're going to start moving them on on Wednesday, uh, which is my birthday. Um, and then on Sunday, we're doing the blankets. Uh, I don't know what else we're doing next week. I have no idea. Also, oh, I'm trying a different... I don't know what you guys think, actually. Hang on. So I, I changed my, it's probably not even noticeable to you guys, but I changed my webcam mask shape to be a hexagon to go with you know the rest of the theme, but I couldn't decide if I wanted to use a border or not. I don't know if there's any preference. I was getting hit with decision paralysis about basically everything today. Yeah, I've, I'm really leaning. I really like the uh, the blur 
the feathering. It's kind of, it's nice and soft. I'm me, I'm soft. But I found, because I was using a circle before, but I found out that it actually, I don't know, it just seemed like it cut off a lot of stuff. Um, so, for me, just mixing about, me mixing, messing about was shit. I'm going to finish one square and then I'm going to make a command for the giveaway. Well, I mean, I'm not really hexagon shaped either. Oh, may maybe, maybe. Oh, there we go. I can kind of fill into a hexagon if I do this. Oh, oh God, it's so hard trying to coordinate and mirror. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, it, it was just like, I, I liked the way I could have cute things, but cute borders, but I was like, well, everything else was hexagons and... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Oh god, what am I doing? You know what? I'm going to have coffee. That's what I'm going to do. Was well, so a good job organizing your yarn, Luna. Okay, the world is feeling a little more sane now I've got coffee. Oh, right. I forgot that. reason I mute that channel. My room is getting un... Hi, goes. Are we we gonna take bets on how long it is before I do another uh, granny square blanket after me swearing off them? Though I haven't done any more granny hexagons since the the last blanket giveaway. So. Maybe I'll stick to my guns. So honestly, my favorite crochet blanket pattern is, is literally just one giant granny square. Oh, okay, there we go. Rearranging limbs. So please remind me at the end of the square um, to create a check command for the giveaway and to stretch my fingers if, if one of you wouldn't or more of you wouldn't mind reminding me. It would be appreciated. Oh, are we auto-focusing? Ew, we are auto-focusing. Maybe yes, please. Uh... Gross. Oh, well now I can show you my nails though. Maybe? Well, the exposure is too bright now. 
I I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. They're a really cute snowflake, frosty kind of winter pattern. But when I put them on, it was really cold in my room, and I think it made them brittle. So like a bunch of them have like chipped off. Like within the first day of wearing them, which made me kind of sad. Give me, thank you. Actually, the nice thing is now that, uh, that square, that blanket number for the square is just going to keep going down. I know the other number will go up, but the blanket number will go down. That makes me happy. Man, this temperature change from yesterday to today is just so confusing. I'm really, really eager to try this different joining method for the scarf as well. Do I have a poke button? Ooh, that's weird. Sorry, I'm just sending Pyro a poke. Alright, so, square done. Okay. So, um... Right, the giveaway command. Up there. Uh... 
Custom commands. Stretch thy hands. Thank you. Mohai! Mohai! Hello! Yay! Welcome to very, very different vibe than Dead by Daylight. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. Mo darling, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, welcome in, everyone. I'm Deliria. My pronouns are she, her. And I am procrastinating while pretending to do crochet. Um, I have much to do. That's as far as I've got. When I'm not doing crochet, I am playing survival, sandbox, exploration-y games with fire. Yeah. <gasps> Thanks, Goose! They're... Quasel. The nail wraps from Lily and Fox. So it's like three dollars for a set. You just stick them on. I can love them. Thanks, Ma. I appreciate it. How 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 were your games? Were you doing Survivor, or were you uh, being a killer? I think you normally play Survivor, right? Um, guys, Ma, uh, you, re you might recognize from Flint stream. Uh, she. Joins Flint a lot for his shenanigans. Normally, if something really goofy is going on or there's lots of giggles, it's her. And she's also really good at, at uh, sassing Flint, which is a very important job. Killers remain stinky. Pose. My nose. My nose is so cold. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's like not that bad. I just have. Cold nose and cold toes. Okay. Um. What was I doing? Stretching my hands. Doing as I'm told. Um. So I have 66 granny squares left to make. Excellent. That sounds like a good way to spend your evening. Thank you again for the raid. I appreciate it very much. Nice. Oh, right. I wanted to make a chat command for the giveaway thing. Oh, I got one that I can just like copy paste. Rather than reinvent the wheel. Or reinvent the chat. The no, stop it. I'm so good at streaming. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, I have that. So what I'm going to do is copy that. This. That. And then we're going to change the word to blanket. What do you reckon blanket will work? I really don't want to use giveaway. Hello stream elements. Oh, fuck's sake. Apparently it help, helps if it's turned on. Hello? Oh, for fuck's sake. What are you, what are you doing? Okay. Third time's a charm. Oh, thank you. All right. Or. Um, or you can do it over there, I guess. We'll put that. Whoopsie. Okay. That will do. 
I put the link in the next one. Okay. I did that. Did that. Do more stretchy off the fingers. Oh, we're getting passive aggressive stuff again. Oh, also, for anyone who's, uh, like, I got, look, I, I did it. Yeah, like this. But I didn't, I didn't know if I, if it was, I, I didn't want to, like, tag you in that, Drax. In case, like, it gets spammed. Like, I don't really like getting pinged in chat all the time, so I was like, I'm just gonna, like, leave it. So it, it doesn't get taggy. Um, but yes. That there is a YouTube channel, a playlist on YouTube of videos that everyone should watch. Anyone who's interested in Vintage Story should go check it out. I know I'm not playing Vintage Story right now, but you should do it anyway. In fact, you should just watch the playlist anyway, because it helps people who have content on YouTube. And he has a nice voice, you can just put it on in the background and, and uh, get those watch hours going. Okay. Uh... You're welcome. Thank you for making useful, handy content. I like it. I feel like I've done something wrong here. I'm really worried that I'm gonna come across as like some weird creepy stalker like super fangirling over like you and Molly I don't mean for it I hope it doesn't come across that way <laughs> thank you oh my 24 months oh my gosh hello 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 hi echo um am I not You got it. Club? You got it. It's so much easier <laughs> with just play colors. Okay. Cause I just think you guys are really cool, okay? <laughs> so there. Okay. Echo. Brown. Okay, now I'm gonna get emotional. It's fine, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm I'm super excited to start this blanket, but I can't until Pyro tells me what color he wants. Yep. Make what worse? Echo white. No, no. <laughs> You already made me cry this week. Echo sent the most wonderful card. I'm not going to talk about what the contents were, but it was... I When I got your card... It was, um, it was so lovely. It took... It was in the, it was in the mail for like three days because I couldn't get out the back door to get to the mailbox. Um... But Echo just sent this most wonderful card and just the kindest. It's going to go on my little pin board behind my desk for when I'm having bad brain days and I'll be able to read it and just be like, hey, it's you're OK. I'm OK. I'm just going to read the card. It was wonderful. And it's always nice getting something in the mail, you know, something that's not a bill or like would you like to buy hearing aids or are the rental something or other? You wouldn't even try, oh god, Echo. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'm, I'm super like PMEC right now. So, you know, like a kitten will do it. Um, 
I feel like I'm not keeping up with this, but that's fine. What color did I just do? Tater! Tater, tater, tater. Hi, tater. Oh, I've actually got more done in this section than I thought I did. Okay, we'll do this. Okay. Hi, how you doing? Oh, also, Echo, um, and I guess everyone else, um, yeah. Oh, my god, I'm yelling. I, I need to set a button for this on my stream deck. Fuck's sake, Dal. I keep on hitting tab instead of caps lock. Um. Most of you are regulars here. You're out working in the cold rain and you hate it. Have you... Yeah, it was it was it was sitting in the mail for a good few days. It was the post this it was stamped the twenty sixth, um, and it came through. It did come through pretty quick. I just didn't get to the mailbox. Yeah, hopefully I was like, have you considered not being in the cold rain? But that's a real jerk thing to say. Just like just just don't do cold things. Very sensitive, Dal. Good job. Um, are you going to be home soon? <laughs> At least I know Tate is not going to be like, oh my god, Dal, you're such a dick. All right. So let me let me let me just do a count here. I want Luna has all the right things to say. Whatever I meant to say. It comes out wrong. Luna will just say it in the correct way. And then we're good. Oh. Oh, how is have you still got some of your milled wine left, Toast? <laughs> ah, thanks, Tater. Oh, I can be a bit of a dick sometimes. I just try not to do it on stream. I don't want to ruin my stellar reputation. Four hours? Oh, well, make sure you take plenty of, of breaks to like warm up and have drink, have hot drinks and stuff. <gasps> Sadie, why are you sick? Look, have you considered not being sick? Sadie, I love you. Hi. I'm right up there with like top, top tips for today. Um, thank you, Luna. <laughs> Luna's translating for me today. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't asked Sadie about Lord Winklebottom. Sadie's going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was supposed to be our little secret. Oh, my God. <laughs> I knew, see, I knew streaming was going to make me feel better today. Um, pretty tasty fruit juice. I mean, really tasty. I mean, that sounds great. Tasty fruit juice. Um, no, we talk we were talking about Lord Winklebottom. Uh the game. The giraffe on the cover. Um <clears throat> and potential of streaming of playing it on my birthday. Um but I didn't want to oh. <laughs> I didn't want to like yick you out if you were going to be here. Yeah, I know. I know. That's why I'm not showing the picture. Um, so I, d I didn't want to like ick you out. If you were going to be here on Sunday for birthday stream next week, then I'll do it sometime other time because I don't want to gross you out. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, I just I just wanted to check. I have like a mental catalog of like yicks to to triggers um for for community members that I try and keep up to date. So like I know there's I know there's things that some people don't like, but Okay. Okay, so we we might play this on Sunday then, since it was one that the devs actually sent. Um we'll just do that. Um Yeah, actually the publishers were the ones who sent this to me last year. And I waited months and months to find out when I was allowed to stream it. And they finally got back to me and said, oh no, you can stream it whenever you want now. It's fine. The marketing manager you were talking to has left the company. Um, so. You just like complain. Okay, perfect. Well then you can fucking look at it. It's looking at you. This is such a wholesome stream. Um. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, <gasps> so mean. One, two, three, four, five, seven, thirteen, four, six. Huh? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's ten. I... I... Numbers are hard, man. But then why does it say four more? It's just so many of them. Oh fuck, I don't know. You know what? I'm just... It's fine. I'm just gonna make shit up and it'll be fine. Okay. Um, Mercedes, love my love. I'm sorry you're you're sick. Yeah, hopefully it's nothing serious. Maybe just like a tummy bug from from Christmas or something. Um, we're we're having a today's a, a bit of a bleh, bleh. having some really bad cramps today, which were making me throw up before. So that's fun. Um, but and I, w I was thinking about cancelling stream, but I said said earlier I I feel physically miserable whether I was streaming or not. But you guys make me feel better most of the time, so I was like I should just do it. Ooh, <laughs> do. Wow. Thank you. See, you guys give me treats. And remind me to stretch and hydrate and you care for me because I do a really terrible job of caring for myself. So it's better for me sometimes. Most, most, most of the time. I can't wear my gloves when I'm doing crochet. But I have had them on all week. Oh, uh, but no. Uh-uh. Mm, I'm at a treat. Hmm. That's good. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. York peppermint patties are so good. 
Yes, good job. Well, I can't argue with that logic, Tater. Fine. You're like you're lovely and nice too, then. So there. Um. Well, good. I'm glad you're feeling a bit better. Sadie, you are lovely and nice. And you give the best hugs. And you're not allowed to argue with me because if you do, I'll cry. So you just have to accept what I say. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm PMSing. And this my house. So there. Right, Ravi? Yeah, you... <laughs> I'll, I'll throw yarn at you. Um. They would be the most adorable, like, just throw skeins of yarn at each other. Honestly, it... It kind of, the idea was just like, but it might come unraveled and then get tangled and then you'd have to untangle it and that would be terrible. Wait, Echo, you, you were driving like me yesterday? What? Reusable... How does that even work? Hey, you know what I just realized? Something else I can do? <laughs> I'm gonna put my heater on a little... Just a little bit! Okay. No, no, fair. I mean, I didn't think that you did it intentionally, Echo. I mean, I don't intentionally drive like I do either. It just kind of happens. It's just my, my, my natural skill. I flourish in certain conditions. Oh, it's actually a really neat idea, Luna. I bet they'd make a good satisfying splat. Ban someone from Flint's channel. Feels good, man. That is a cool idea. Um. Okay, my love, feel better soon. Please. Take care of yourself. I have socks on and I put the heater on and I have a drink. So I'm doing a good start. Oh geez, I can imagine Eco people going and having water balloon fights at the parks and then just leaving it all behind. But, oh good, I'm glad Emma's taking care of you. Oh, those are cute!
Those are amazing. I should totally make some of those for my nephew's birthday next year. So to be honest, they could probably use um, there's no wait, there's no fiber fill in them. Well, now you've got me downloading crochet patterns. Huh. All right, yeah, no filling. <laughs> Chaos wrecked. You know what? We need a bink. I keep on thinking about this. We should totally have. <clears throat> we should make a stream bingo. I don't know quite how or what we would have on it or what the point of it all would be. But a stream bingo card <laughs> for something. Yeah. Yeah, they are. But it looks if you use like thick yarn, you'll be able to chuck them in the wash, I would think. I wonder, actually, you could probably make a square and then you can just have it with like a drawstring so you can like uh, drawstring it as a square so it's into like a little bowl shape and then undo the drawstring and then it's just a flat washcloth that you can stick in the washing machine or hose off. I don't, I have no idea what we, anyway, random, random thought was a stream bingo card, but I, I wouldn't know what to put in it or how to implement it. So I don't know. I'm going to finish this section of purple squares and then I'm going to have to go through and look at my count again. First composite. Well, that's all pretty much all of them. Here is he is. I'd make that into a t shirt, but that would just be so niche. Echo is like, Dal, I got you. You fire? But would it be based on things in chat? Or things that happen in a game, or things that I say. Hey! Because if it was based on things that chat happen in chat, then you could manipulate it yourself. Honestly, this looks like a, a list of bullet points just for describing stream at this point. Just get rid of my biography or oh, on in my about me and just put theft, fire, croissant, dare SCS, and curse conversation. Job done. Oh god. 
Like yesterday when I scared myself with my own hair. That was something. Echo, you're putting a lot of thought into this. Oh, oh god. <laughs> How many times do I do I ask if the music's the right level, even though it, it literally never changes? Ever. And I'm always worried that it's too loud or my mic is too loud. I'm still paranoid that my mic is too loud. Well, I appreciate your brain, Echo. My problem is, I think everything is too loud. <clears throat> it's really hard sometimes for Flint and I to watch a show together because he loves the volume at max. And I hate it like if i can hear it at a comfortable conversational level i'm good but anything louder than that it just becomes noise <laughs> look me and my buttons are doing just fine <clears throat> but yeah I've, i know i've listened to my vods and i think that my my mic is a little too loud but it doesn't peak it can't peak it's got a limiter on it. <coughs> so it's just, I know it's just me. I'm sure people would tell me if it sounded terrible, right? Right? Probably would. It's fine. Anyway, I like buttons. Okay, we have ads popping in 30 seconds. <coughs> um, also, thank you to everyone who liked and retweeted my post about blue fang i really appreciate that all right thanks stretch break actually i'm gonna go pee i'll be right back Okay. I did, Luda. <clears throat> Man. Very croaky. Okay. Um, I need to fix my BRB button. why the button's not working.
tasting. Okay. Yeah, so last week I decided to <clears throat> move and reorganize all of my graphics assets for stream. Um, which seemed like a good idea until I opened up OBS and it was like, what the fuck? Now I can't find anything. So then I had to spend like half an hour telling OBS to go and look in different places for things. <laughs> this is a good idea. It was brilliant. Um, so yeah, there's a, f a few things that didn't quite get up, but of course it messed with Streamabot, it re messed with my Stream Deck buttons, and then Stream Deck had an update that I hadn't applied yet. So then I had to like reinstall the plugin for OBS because I have OBS running in portable mode. Like, why did I, why did I do this? I think I've got almost everything back though, where it ought to be. <clears throat> also, I just got myself some cookies. These are like my favorite cookies right now. I feel like such a granny. They're really good. They're just like a really plain, simple, cookie that we get from oh hello what was that oh hey thank you kind anonymous person thank you <coughs> I forgot I had the alerts for that Thank you. They're, <clears throat> they're a really simple cookie. They're really good with tea and coffee. We get them in the, I think it's in like the, the kosher setting. Um, the kosher section of the store, Echo. And they're delicious. <clears throat> I can eat a whole packet in one sitting. Well, they were also really good with um, margarine, country crock or butter spread on them. I know it's kind of gross. What? What the fuck? <laughs> no, I'm gonna cry. Echo, thank you. What? How did I even get that close? What the fuck? Um, thank you. <laughs> Echo's like streamer.exe has stopped responding. Um, thank you. I'm just sitting here with a cookie in my hand, like, now what the fuck do I do? <laughs> no art. I don't. <laughs> Step one: eat the cookie. Okay. Got it. I don't know how to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So the plan is basically that's supposed to be a better camera for this and then I can use the Brio for crafting oh cool I don't I don't know how this works on throne Thank you. 
I have no idea how- Oh! Oh, it just orders it! Okay! I thought it meant like I would have to like take funds out of it and then go to Amazon and blah blah blah, but no, it's literally just ordered it straight off the bat. Yeah, I've heard really good things about that camera. Hi, Ship Roman, thank you! You guys! <laughs> Hi, Carter! That, that time, do you remember? Does it seem to me that it's ordered? <clears throat> Processing ordered. Um, I I don't deserve you guys. Thank you. Don't make me feel squishy inside. In a good way. Um, but yeah, it, that camera is supposed to be... I've heard some pretty good stuff about it. I... I, <laughs> I yeah, no, you're right. I am. Um, it would be pretty bad if I was crunchy inside. So I guess technically you're crunchy inside too. Hey, Flav. As I bounced on my birthday till Wednesday. All right. I did two. I done two squares today. Thank you. I do need to hydrate and stretch. Oh god. No, not till Wednesday. Oh, thank you. Oh, things are popping. Ooh. It's like going. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> Thank you, Flamph. I didn't need that. Hi. Now there's a cat on my head. Who did this? <laughs> I don't get to see who did it until it's finished. I have my suspicions. Toast! Apparently one likes putting cats on my head. Toast, thank you for... Putting Maxwell on my head. You all are too nice. I appreciate it. Croissant. Now I want croissants. But yeah, so the the webcam shuffle would be great because that means then I've got extra extra webcam. Like I can use the the nine twenty that I have for like a second crafting cam or if I'm doing stuff elsewhere like if we're doing like a baking stream and I don't have to like redo everything um yeah I'm not seeing that <coughs> the camera on the wish list there at all so I think it's finished drink coffee I'm drinking coffee too crap sounds good You're jealous of crabs or coffee? I I feel like they probably wouldn't go too well together, but I don't want to yuck on someone else's yum. Yeah, crabs are pretty awesome, actually. The final form. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Um, thank you for the badgers, Stu. Um, if you have a Publix nearby, which you might have, maybe Ravi. Um, 
these usually are on sale for like 70 to 80 cents a pack and they are so good it's it's like all i can do not to just like shove them in my gob they remind me of um arrowroot cookies that i used to get back home in new zealand when i was little Nick. <coughs> Jesus. My throat. Um, okay. I did mark off that I'd done a, a square, right? Oh, I got rid of the counter for squares done. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it is right. Two. Two today. Right? Yes? Yes. They are biscuits. They are biscuits. They're delicious. Is what they are. Two more. I'm finally about nearly finished with your ones from the 1st of December, Carter. <laughs> it's only taken me a month and a bit to get there, but we're doing it. <laughs> The, the new ones for keeping you awake? Oh, my nose. Oh. Nice. Oh, God, my Twitter feed is now full of freaking webcam stuff. I hope they help. I'm, I'm still hopeful for you, Stu. That we'll get things... I say we like I'm involved somehow, but I, I we, we'll we'll get through this. You got us. We got your backs, you. You're sore. Um, <laughs> I'm like even thinking about exercise in my backs. Like no, I'm sorry. That's against my religion. Um. I always have the best of intentions with those and I'll try like to establish a new routine and then I do it like once or twice, get bored and move on. Which isn't good practice. So, that reminds me. And I don't know if it's dumb or not. But there's a friend that I was watching and she had a point redemption for I was basically like chair yoga I didn't think it was silly in her channel so I don't know why I would think it'd be silly for me it makes no sense but basically it was a point redemption and she had an app on her phone with like exercises to do while seated to help with back and tummy and various bits and bobs and I'm like you know maybe that's not a terrible idea people like put it up on the screen and make everyone do chair yoga with me so I sit on my ass all day And I know that that I mean I the the hip pain that I have and the mobility pain that I have is from hip issues, but I know part of it is because I don't do anything as well. Okay, maybe I can go you can find a mobile app. Cause that's the sort of thing, like if it's right in front of me then I'm more likely to do these things. 
than if it's just like that's that's why the alerts work so well i think the point redemptions work so well But I was trying to, th it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, if the worst thing that happens is I have to do stretches all day, it's probably not terrible. Ow. Mm hmm. That is true. As I said, I'm definitely more motivated when I have... <coughs> have you lot nagging at me to do stuff. Not nagging, fussing at me. I found a really good gift that I posted in Discord Echo. It's basically perfect. I have to keep going back and like looking at my email and be like did that actually happen <laughs> it's like really really truly and now thrones like you need to add something else to your crowd i'm like oh no. i mean not really but I'm good. The only reason I have the throne there is someone asked me to do one a few years I'm a back. Cat, so like move or whatever. Oh, Anki. Um. Yeah. No. Someone asked me a, a few years back. They wanted to send me something, and I didn't want to give them my address. And I found out about throne, so I did that. So it just kind of sat there lurking most of the last few years. Anki! I could. Then I could get someone else to do the blanket. I. Chat made me cry. A little bit though. I managed to put a plug in it. They were nice. Chat was nice to me. And now I've got a new webcam coming. And they said nice things. And my brain is broken. But it should make for much better crafting streams. I'll be able to craft in 4K. Oh, stop. Look. Yes. Hey, assuming, assuming. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> yeah, and 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 putting badges in chat and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You'll have to get better monitors to watch my craft streams or my 
crochet will be low res or something. I'm pretty sure. Mm. Actually, I don't know if that camera. Pretty sure that camera. <laughs> low res, right? My squares will be pixely. I wonder if mine gets janky. I have to like unplug it and like leave it for like five minutes or so and then plug it back in. And I don't know if it's the power brick. Uh, there is. It's exclamation, exclamation mark ticket or exclamation mark blank. Uh, enter will do it. Um, the command about it is exclamation mark blanket because I didn't want to do giveaway and then have it picked up by people rummaging about. Um, you won't get a response, but I can check that it's there. Um. Yeah, so now there's, it's, there's three people. We've got Punky, Luna, and Drax have got a ticket each. So that's like two thirds of a blanket each. You'll have to fight over which thirds you get. <coughs> Someone's like, I want the middle third. I mean, the odds are pretty good right now. Why is that getting so many legs here? <coughs> <laughs> That's funny. Remember I just I'll just cut it up into squares. You'll just get one square in the mail. So I wanted to start the scarf today, but I can't until Pyro tells me what color he wants. Because his is the first one. I'm trying to think if there's a way that I could set up <coughs> I don't know if it would work I'm trying to think if there's a way to set up a chat command that automatically writes to a text file with a name and a color option for the subs, the, the scarf. Even if it's just like on an event of a subscribe, of subscription, and then it just logs data. <coughs> I don't know how I could do that though.
I think it would be, it'd have to be done in a couple of steps. But I could use, oh, I think I could do it actually. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to like roll it around in my head a little while and see what I can figure out. The getting streamer bot to append to a list would be really useful. Also, I think on <clears throat> on Wednesday I'll have the final list of the, the top three naughtiest people in stream last year, according to Santa. The official tally. And um, then I'll be sending out some DMs. For those of you who I who I don't have the addresses for, um, I'll be sending a DM asking for info. Not Dell was only on there once. Because not that brain. <coughs> I can tell you, Luna and Stuart in there and Ravi and a couple of other people <laughs> bag a <of> call <coughs> You just want the stickers? I keep forgetting to put some stickers on my cane. Have I got... Stu, have I got your most recent address? I can't remember if you could see me, if I sent you that thing before or after you moved. Okay. I think I have everyone pretty much. Yeah, but that's because you moved so I didn't know where you would live. Which is a bit drastic if you ask me, but... Whatever. Really only at three squares for an hour and a half. Jesus Christ. I suppose I do get distracted easily though. Chucky. Feels like it should be more. 
But yeah, I thought that sounds right. Now I'm warming up. Okay. I am so, so distracted. I can too do a focus. At least I don't have cold feet anymore because I'm wearing my Echo socks. It's really nice being able to have warm feet and not worrying about arsing over if I have to go to the loo. I'm, I'm really looking forward to not having to refer to that chart anymore. That was a fast one. I can do fast. I don't get distracted. Yeah. And it's hard when there's like moving pictures on other screens and sounds outside and stuff. <laughs> Not right now. I'm looking at my crochet. I don't know what you're talking about, Carter. I may or may not have Flint and Molly's streams up, but you can't prove anything.
There's nothing to clip because you can't prove anything. I said may or may not. Ah. There. What was that? Seven minutes. You know, I can fuck around for half an hour. That is not proof. That is lies and blasphemy. All right, so oh, actually, Echo, it's a good thing you're here because I have. Um, I'm assuming you want greens and yellows for your chunk from last month. Okay, let me just put these these colors away. Pits. You made fresh pot of coffee and you done your dishes, and Punky can see my butt. <sighs> All right, I have grabbed for the first handful these colors. Do you have any preference or should I just like mix the color mix green and yellow up? Ooh. Mix them up. I'm still looking forward to seeing these two blankets like Uh, side by side. <clears throat> okay. Yellow. It's actually, it's funny because the palette started off really cool, but as it's gone out further out, we've got it's warmed up a lot. Lots of reds and pinks and purples.
I see someone posting in Clips channel. I see what's going on. Hey, Soma's not playing Baldur's Gate, but I'm not watching Soma, so I wouldn't know that. It's probably a good thing that Pyro hasn't got back to me actually because then I would be starting on the scarf already. This is forcing me to work on the blanket. Is the exposure on this too high? Seems like it is. Oh god, that's better. I absolutely love this pink and this yellow next to each other. Wait, did we just have a Christmas carol? Like a creature that eats crab? <laughs> oh, epidemic. Very nice. Merry Christmas. Feels like Christmas today, I'll take it. <laughs> Every day should feel like Christmas. Oh, it is. It's the uh the 12 days of Christmas ended yesterday, right? <laughs> As Carter pointed out to me a couple of years ago. Twelve days of Christmas start on Christmas. And I I pay very close attention to the things that Coda tells me. Well, I got to if I want to learn stuff. If, 
<laughs> something, something. Oh, interesting. I have uh, decided what I'm I'm building in Vintage Story next. <clears throat> I'm not doing another Hobbit hole. But I have an idea. No, no, not a skyscraper. <laughs> These are all very, very good guesses. I mean, the Eye of Mordor is a skyscraper. Kinda. No, I don't think the Eye of Mordor is a pineapple. This is a fun game. This reminds me of like, when you're on a road trip with the family and the kids are bored and you like tell the kids to th guess a word. A Trojan bee. 42. Cheese slices. A hot dog cart. <laughs> a TARDIS! One of you is close. Yellow, mm, no. shelter i mean they could all kind of work as a my last one could almost work as a fallout shelter almost except for the whole big si hole on the side of the earth thing but you know picky picky that sounds more like a you thing from the pride flag a pair of pets uh here one of them hey look oh there we are it showed <laughs> yeah just one for the first sub of the year Do you want light blue or dark blue? Because that that pride flag has like the the inclusive triangle. We have eleven colors. Oh, 
You're so cool, Pyro. I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> yeah, like you deep. Was that that was deep blue, wasn't it? Thank you, Pyro. Now we can start on the scarf. I do need to get that as an overlay that I can just like pop up. Yeah, that's this year the colors are are just uh pride flare colors, so there's no like complication of being like A3 or it's just nice and simple and it's i think it's gonna be look really cool and now i'm just like but i want to start on the no i'm gonna do how many squares have i done today i mean three attacks you want battleship miss i'm gonna do more you sunk my battleship I have to do five more squares before I'm allowed to start the, the scarf. That's my rule. I decided that's what I'm doing. I can do 10 squares today, I'll be happy. Yeah, Pyro, there's this, there's a thing with Project Zomboid. <coughs> it is. Like all of my roles, Echo. Um, there's a thing with Project Zomboid, and I th I think it's like a thing on pretty much every server host. Where when you restart the server, it <laughs> badger, badger, badger. it doesn't do a, a clean shutdown, so it doesn't do a, a database save of the uh, INI files <coughs> or the LUA files. So when it restarts, it basically triggers a bunch of things like things to respawn and containers and stuff. Um, and so until I can figure out if there's a way to see it, I don't know if I can make a, a do it like a cron job to to do like an automatic save somewhere in there. Um, I'm just not going to restart the server. Problem solved. Thank you for the badges. I'll oh, see now it's... Mm. If that makes sense. Apparently it's a known issue, but I didn't find out exactly what the triggers were until after restarting the server three times. So you'll need to um, re reset your safe zone um, and make sure that you've got the respawn box checked in your safe zone as well, if you haven't already. I ought to see if there's mushrooms and snake on Tangier. Since these badges. No, there's not. Why is there only badger but no mushroom or snake? I think I can add my own though. Hufflepuffs. No, I don't think there's any Hufflepuffs there either. I 
I'm gonna try and see if I can add the mushrooms and the snakes. Fire. <laughs> oh my god, Piper! <laughs> Hang on. Oh no. Is it a cable maybe? Hopefully it's just a cable. be a cable or it could even be like wait is it connected to your computer still or is it okay yeah i was gonna say it could be a cable or it could just be your gpu needs to be reseated oh you could oh oh that's interesting weird Oh, we have ads right now. Um, okay. <coughs> I'm gonna see now it's really dark. Um, I'm gonna stand up and move and stretch. Uh, you guys should too, because it's good for you. And we all do things that are good for us all the time. And I'll be back in a couple of minutes. And this button should work now. Um, all right, and we back.
Ooh. Ouch. Crabs are rubbish. Oh. And they are savage this month. I did come up with an idea for something last night. I was laying there and so Flynn was, I mentioned it earlier, I had, Flynn was like laying on my tummy basically to apply pressure because my cramps were like really fucking bad. I was crying. And the, like the pressure and I guess the warmth helps. And I was like, I love my heat pad, but I wish I could figure out a thing to apply pressure. And then I'm like, what if you could get something like a water bottle with an element around it so you can literally like tuck it into your tummy and then just like curl around it? Like just like a little round, I mean, like the width of a, a can, like a Pringles tube. That generates heat that you can just like tuck in your tummy and then just like sh do a shrimp around it. I do need a cat because then they can make biscuits on my tummy. Hmm. Invention time! And we've got like a hot water bottle and and I love my hot water bottle and I love my heat my electric heat pad but I feel like just being able to combine them yeah basically that's it that's the same idea so you've got like the firmness <laughs> hey taco thank you Yeah, so you've got like the rigidity, so you've got pressure as well. Chubs in water bottle form. Well, it doesn't necessarily need to be full of water. It could just be like a USB. I mean, I could literally... Like I've got my heat pad my favorite keypad which is amazing this thing is a game changer and it just stays on which is best but if you can do it like that but then like you wrap it like that and then curl around that I my problem is I worry about dropping something I worry about dropping most things and I'd be terrified of dropping a glass jar full of boiling water. But like a USB chargeable what I don't know what you would call it. That's what I want. Someone could get on that for me, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> I reckon it'd do really well. It's probably already out there, to be honest. I'm pretty good at breaking things, though, and dropping them. My brain is ticking now. I'm like, what if I get another one of those heat pads? See if I can find a smaller one and just like wrap it around something non-flammable, non-conductive. 
non-liquid. I love my hot water bottle, they just don't stay hot for long enough, even, enough, even with a, a nice cover. Yeah, I have a rice, the, like I've got rice packs as well, but again, they don't stay long enough, hot enough for me, really. Like, my heat pad stays hot for two hours, like hot for two hours. And I know you're not supposed to apply topical heat for more than 20 minutes at a time. But I don't care. <laughs> but that could be an idea for a, a center of it, though. And I'm like, well, now I'm going to have to make a giant heat rice pack to fit my heat pad. There's a nice thing, like with the wheat packs and the rice packs, they do have some sort of flexibility and malleability, which is nice. We like that. I need a USB rechargeable heat pad. If we could find some USB rechargeable rice, we're, we're onto something. that would keep the jar of boiling water insulated <coughs> and safe. Bet I could. The only problem with the jar of boiling water is that you're arguing with physics. <coughs> so you're still losing heat through the exothermic reaction. But it, that would definitely keep the water warm in it for longer. Really, only six. yellow one oh. I mean I am so excited about this webcam it's it's kind of it's starting to land the <laughs> It's, it's, it's starting to like, oh, hey, you toy. Oh, look, stop it. interesting to compare 
that with the uh, the 920 and the 922. Soon you'll be able to see me in stunning 1080p with a fluid 60 frames per second. I don't think I can move at 60 frames per second. It sounds exhausting. I think I just move at 30 frames per second. Actually, the funny thing is my current webcam that I use, the Logitech Brio, is supposed to be 4K. Oh, thank you, Taco. Um, yeah, the my primary face cam is supposed to be 4K. And it's never, never been able to hit that mark. I've made so many granny squares by now that my brain just goes into automatic. <laughs> it's... Oh, I... I don't use... I don't think I've bothered with 60, actually. Hey, Stone. I'm pretty sure my craft one is on at 60 at the moment. I would love to stream at a higher resolution, but I'm really aware of that I've got a, a few viewers who watch on mobile, which means that anything over 720 tends to get, like basically anyone who's watching on the Twitch app or on, on mobile browsers tend to have an issue. So maybe that's improving over time, but it's definitely something that I've seen uh, people complain about before. Well, not complain about, but talk about before. So I could go up to 1080. Oh, no. I, I mean, I'm... I'm pretty aware of how all the settings are. Like, it scales down my output from 1080 to 720. Um, but yeah, no, the my webcam, the 4K webcam has, n well, it's never been able to do 4K. But it does do color a lot better than these Logitech ones. Well, it's not, it's not about the transcoding necessarily. And that's just luck of the draw, really. Um unless you're a partner and even then not necessarily but yeah it's something like I don't I just don't it's it's so hard like I would love to be able to just dream in 1080 and not worry about it because obviously things look so much better um and I mean I don't even Flint streams at some weird fucking resolution and I don't know why 1384 what the fuck is that I don't know. It's probably some button that he pushed for optimizing. I need to fix that, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks okay, but I, it could look better. I mean, what is 1384p? I'm the I'm the tech support. If I told him that it, his, his resolution was weird, he'd just be like, oh, no. Which is fine. He has lots of other things that he's helpful for. 
Um, but yeah, like I know I could look at, make it look better, but maybe I'll see one day. We'll try. I've got more than enough resources to be able to stream at a higher resolution and at a higher band bandwidth or frame rate. Uh, because I, I have it capped at 6,000 as well, but bit, bit rate. And you can stream at a higher bit rate, which don't really give a fuck. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see the the color differences um, between the cameras. So this is uh, the camera that I'm using for the top down. Oh yeah, um, the camera that I'm using top down. This is a a Logitech C nine twenty two. Um. I don't think so, except maybe that. And I have a, a Logitech Brio as my primary camera, which is fine, but doesn't just the color on the 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 C920 and the C922 are rough, are rough. They don't capture the colors for crafting streams well. So that's what I'm hoping for, to be able to cycle them through. So I'll be able to turn the Elgato face cam that you guys got me into my primary face cam, and then the Brio with the potentially 4K for crafting. So you'll be able to see all the pixels in my granny squares. Welcome back, Ravi. Yeah, I mean, I have the resources to stream at a higher... A higher bit rate and, and everything, even when I'm gaming, especially if I'm just playing like um vintage story or Project Zomboid or even like No Man's Sky. Um the 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 one with the camera. <laughs> Not the Spency one. The face cam. Uh, the 1080 one, not the 4K one. All right. Bye, Echo. Thank you again. Have a good day. Be safe. Have you got the... Did you get a 4K one or, or the 1080 stone? Okay, yeah. I would have loved the 4K one, but I... The, the price for it was just like... I can't. <laughs> okay. $300 for a webcam is a lot. Um, no, I use my phone, Ravi. My phone is pretty crappy. But it takes, if I have, if it has good light, it takes a really good photo. <laughs> Maybe that'll be the next step up then. Um, but I have, like, for the small pictures of crafting, I have, like, a little, um, a little plastic white box, like a soft box that I use. Uh, but... Yeah, most of the time. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Just one of them crappy plastic ones that's got like the the strip of LEDs stuck on the lid of it. And then my phone. Yeah, uh, my phone can handle taking photos like that really well, but. Generally, it doesn't take very good pictures at all. It, it doesn't do well with low exposure. Well, I asked for this one as a gift. I'm, I, it, I don't, I don't know how long it takes to get it. 
But it just got crowdfunded today, Stone. On uh, on Throne. So it might even arrive by my birthday. That'll be exciting. See my... My, oh, so my current webcam, my face cam, is currently running at 1440 at 30 frames per second. I don't know why it's set at that, actually. That's weird. Especially since it's so small, it doesn't need to be like that. But I think this one will... The, oh, I'm just looking forward to it. It'll be fun. One day when I grow up, I'd like to have a fancy... Um, not like super fancy, like maybe like a mirrorless one camera. That'd be nice. But I don't, I don't use full screen cam very often, so I don't think it's really important for me. What is this music? I love that in this blanket there's this one like I bleed orange square. That's it. Just one. This is like it doesn't the webcam can't handle it. It is such a vibrant orange. It is safety orange. A hundred percent safety orange. And the webcam's just like, uh don't make me do it. No. The orange will take you all. It's just like one little snippet of bright orange. Also, these blankets were supposed to be stash busters. And it hasn't really busted the stash at all. Oh yeah, for sure. I think the problem, the other problem I have, well not problem, but my current webcam for crafting um, I can't remember why I had it set It should be able to do 60 but it can't this one so having the 60 FPS for, will, will make a difference too, I think. Especially with the exposure and stuff. But yeah, the, my crafting camera right now is only at 130. The 1080 and 30, it won't go up any higher than that. But I think that's because it's connected via a USB extension cable. So it's just, it just doesn't have the speed required to do a higher frame rate. Oh, I have I have lighting up the wazoo in here. That's not the issue for the exposure. I have more lights than you could shake a stick at. 
if you had like a couple of a couple of sticks. I have many, many lights. I I got a lot of lights. I am making progress. <laughs> oh, hey, down to 60. Getting there. So I, I made a deal with myself. Three more. If I get to 10 squares done today, then I'm allowed to start working on the new blank on the new project. see green <clears throat> which greens have i used oh i need to keep this updated on the chat oh yeah actually <laughs> i'm running out of us accessible usb ports on my computer i had to can my keyboard is now running my keyboard is USB, but I got a USB to the USB C adapter so I could plug that into the USB C port on my computer. The reason I use my the big wireless headset headphones that I have is because it shares a receiver with my mouse and my keyboard. Yeah. So I only need one USB receiver for those three devices. Oh, actually no, my keyboard is wired. But yeah, so I'm like... <laughs> I need more USB ports! But I don't have the space in there. Well, I could, I could. Like, I have an internal card. Um, I have two PCIe slots next to my graphics card. But the problem is that uh, I could put if I have my capture card in there, it's real like it it blocks off. If I put the capture card and my thing with the extra USB slots, it blocks off airflow from the graphics card, which I kind of don't really want to do. <laughs> so I could get an external unit, but then you have to make sure that it, you get a decent one that's got good power supply um, and has the higher rate for data transfer as well. <laughs> but that is going to have to be something that I look at, for sure. I keep on saying these aren't problems, these are just... things that mull over my head. Definitely not problems. But yeah, I'm going to have to do something at some point. Like if I want to stream from my Switch... I suppose the other solution would be to get an use an external capture card, internal USB port expansion. Yeah, like it's not a big deal. It's just stuff. Um, that would make more sense actually, because adding four more USB slots through an internal card has the power and the data transfer rates to work things better. An external capture card is just fine. Maybe I'll do that then. Hey, look, you, you guys are helping me brain out my hardware. You're helping.
Well, thanks, Taco. That's very kind of you. Badger, 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 badger. Thank you, Stuart. Well, I mean, it's it's a new thing, and it it's not as intuitive as you know as some other things to set up for stream. You know, you can ask her for help if you need it, Ravi. You're playing Lego Fortnite still? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> I'm glad you found something that you enjoy, Star. You're not bad at playing games on PC, Ravi. Um, I, I do struggle with the Switch with the controls, like using any controller. There's a story in PC building sim. I did see you mention that, I think, in Molly's room. Oh, I was kind of intrigued by that. But I had a feeling if I tried to stream that, I would just get mansplained to death. And I'd get really tired of being like, dude, I've been building my own computers for 10 years. I think it looks fun, Ravi. I did. Um, if, I'm sure you can imagine the chaos, Ravi, but I watched Littles play Lawn Mower Sam. And she really does manage to make any game she plays completely unhinged. It's amazing. Still fun? Oh, nice. Maybe I'll have to look out for them then. We can have a Sim theme. It is her gift, yeah. She can make the most inane thing incredibly entertaining and unhinged. It's amazing. I have to look out because I've I've got a bunch of games that I haven't played or that I have keys for. Oh no, I don't like mowing my own lawn. But it's different when it's a game. Like power wash, I'm I'm really intrigued by the power washing one as well. But I'm I feel like I'm gonna go one of two ways with that. I'm either gonna be like so absorbed I'm gonna forget I'm streaming or I'm gonna spend like five minutes playing it and be like that was satisfying but I'm bored now which is how I've been with some yeah see that's what I'm concerned about like the there was a a building a building one that came out a while ago and it was beautiful Absolutely gorgeous one. But it was so repetitive that I was just like, I mean, this is gorgeous, but eh. <laughs> Wait, you can play it in Roblox? Oh, you know, you can play everything in Roblox now, right? Or at least that's my understanding, is there's like versions of everything within there. It's funny, there's some sounds from games that instantly make me tired. Like... Um, EverQuest 2 
Flint and I played the heck out of EverQuest 2 together. And the crafting in EverQuest 2 was really, it, it's really neat. Um, it's not just, you know, you don't just sit there and queue up like five stone knives and it, it spits them out. You have to do certain actions. So, well, you have to counter actions. So using like one, two, three or four or whatever. Um, and it's, it's really very interesting system. But we did so much crafting. Flint and I would do these huge building projects when we were both overtired. And now every time I hear certain sounds that sound like the crafting tables in EverQuest 2, I get like, like a Pavlovian reflex. I'm just like... We, we made it like a really neat guild hall and like a bunch of cool houses. I made like a, a a cave under a waterfall, like a fancy ass cave. The building in that game is amazing. It's still amazing even now. I played, I think I played some very briefly, like a year or maybe a couple of years ago. And I logged into my account for the first time in <clears throat> I don't know how long. And I had so much, a bunch of store credit. So I, I think Ali joined me. <coughs> Excuse me. So I bought Ali a mount so we could move around faster. But I think we really only played for a few hours. It was fun though. And it's crazy how much you remember, like, you can not play a game for five years and still remember, like, oh, so-and-so NPC is over behind that building, or, oh, you go over here to find whatever flowers you need to pick or something. Brains are crazy, man. Oh. I need to take a look at Game Pass and see what there is on there. I think, well, I think like for me, for EverQuest 2, I started so many new characters. I had like eight or nine characters on my account. <coughs> so I got, especially in the starting areas, I got to a point where I could just like do it all with my, with my eyes closed. Other things, probably not so much. Definitely not so much. I'm still very excited about the webcam. Okay, I'm gonna close that now. Yeah. I mean, honestly, sensible. <coughs> very, very sensible. Yeah, three jobs in college doesn't make it really sound like he had much time for anything else, to be honest. Oh, yeah, Flint and I played a lot. <clears throat> it was funny actually because 
we were I can't remember what the situation was but we were I think we were looking for a new game to play um and <clears throat> I was looking at different trials at the time and I think there was like a, a free month you could play EverQuest 2 for, for free for a month Maybe they just had free servers, but it had like cash shop nags, something like that. So I played it for a month and uh, I really enjoyed it. Like Flint, like Flint could barely peel me away from my computer because I was just like running around as a fairy and blowing things up and I had a cool house. And I remember he it was really sweet he took me to like a GameStop he said we were going out for lunch or something he took me into GameStop and we went and actually bought the game for us both <laughs> and a couple of um, so I had access to everything in the game as opposed to limited free version and I was so excited and we played that solid for a couple of years I think um but it was really fun but I didn't realize at the time that he'd played the EverQuest 1 when it came out that he used to play the heck out of EverQuest 1 and World of Warcraft and so when I was enthusing and telling him about EverQuest he's like yeah I know I know what that I know what that is I've played it before but he just let me like blather on at him I had a little little uh, ratty character, it's called a Rotonga, that I made as a like a musketeer type character and I called it Scaramouche Fandango and I loved Scaramouche so much. <laughs> I was so proud of her. He does, sucker. That was before he learned how to tune me out. So I'm really looking forward to trying, like starting to scarf. I've got a joining method that I want to test, which if it works, means I won't have to weave in any ends, like with the needle. I won't have to do any of that if it works. Would be amazing. Oh no, I could have sworn I just did four. <sighs> Why are they taking so long to do? Well, now there's cheese ball fluff everywhere. Fluff? Cheese balls don't have fluff. <coughs> cheese balls have dust. Oh no, look what happens if you get too much cheese ball on your your blanket. Ah, 
I will say one nice thing about not using all these different yarn colors is that I'll be able to tidy up my yarn shelf properly and it'll stay tidy. And that'll be nice. Oh, wait. Here we go. Four. It really feels like I've done more than I have. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Aww, I love that. I love that they know what goes on even if you can't even if they can't hear me. Why not that I still have a 59 squares to go? Fifteen. The, the daily. Is that you? I mean, I don't have my hair out today. I guess it's just turned into the into a, a, a daily gag now. I think I think so. Oh no, the Jacksonville Jaguars have been knocked out of the NFL playoffs. What a sad day for fans of sports ball. Spoilers, I guess. I really love this yellow. It's kind of like... French's yellow mustard. But it's... I don't know, it's pretty. I like it. Yeah, it's... Oh, it does almost. Yeah. I have many yellows. Why am I even looking over there? I'm trying to decide how much I can get away with not doing this week. I put it 
put in a birthday request for Flint. Specifically, I said that I wanted to be treated like a princess this week. So I don't want to have to do dishes or clean the toilet or any of my other usual stuff. He's really, really lovely. And he does wonderful things for me, but he also has a really terrible memory for these sort of things. And I don't like reminding him of having of, to, to do stuff because he already does other things. So it's like, maybe I should just play games this week. Just relax tomorrow and play, play computer games. and obsessively check to see if there's an update to Vintage Story. Just in case. Yeah. Oh, I should have put it, should have put in a request for croissants too. Oh, that reminds me, I need to confirm with Punky when our my grocery order is coming in. I've been waiting for the vintage story patch since yeah quite a while. I started playing that in August. I was looking at my notification like my notice board in, in discord. God I post a lot of bullshit on there. It's literally just like, it's turned into a channel where I just like, word fart information. But I guess that's what it's for. It's like, this is the stuff relevant to stream. But yeah, I, I started playing that game in like August last year. How am I still obsessed with it? Um... But yeah, maybe, maybe the update, Drake seems to think it, the update might be like soon. I want to tweet at them and be like, birthday gift release plus can have. I think that would work. Toast is like, yes. Toast was the ultimate enabler for me for Vintage Story. I mean, the update is playable right now, it's just that server hosts won't apply it because it's not a final final release forgot that I had my heater on a little bit and I was like man it's time to get warm in here Getting there. We're getting there. I 
maybe I can get Flint to play Medieval Dynasty with me tomorrow. Oh, we have ads popping in 30 seconds. Or less than 30 seconds now. That work. Um, to be a good chance to stand up, take a break. Go get a wee. Get a drink. And I will see you in a couple of minutes. Let's put my stitch marker in. Alright, I'll be right back.
Alrighty. Alright, one more. The deal is, I have to do one more square today. And then I'm allowed to play with the scarf. Making sure my spreadsheet is up to date. I'm so glad that I kept all of this data in a spreadsheet for me to just come back to rather than having it all in scraps of um, paper. Working on a darker color, so I've just bumped up the exposure. Actually, thankfully, my hands are feeling all right today. But I've been pretty good about wearing my gloves all week, including wearing them to bed, so I feel like that's probably helped a lot. Oh, did I do too many chains there? So of course I say that now my left hand starts tweaking. I have to dig out the um, the pattern that I was going to use for the scarf just for the first row or two rows I think and then once I'm into the second row we should be good I really hope this idea works I'm really worried that we're going to end up with like this awkward bulky shaped scarf because of all the color changes. But if my idea works, then it should be okay. And potentially it'll use less waste for the yarn too. Maybe. I 
Hi, AJ. Hello. my best not to rush this one. <laughs> Just a blanket, Granny Square blanket. Finishing up a thing from last year. I'm about to start another project when I finish this square. I did 10. That was my deal with myself. for this project. Next one. My cell phone was... I think I started experimenting, so I'm gonna have to undo that first. These colors are so pretty. Can it? <laughs> Undo what I've got here. I really can't remember what hook size I used. Oh, that's not a crochet hook, that's a set of pliers. Let me see if I can dig out the air turn. Uh, nope, not that one. I feel like I posted this somewhere. I love going back through our craft channel, seeing all the colors and fun shapes and projects that people work on. Ah, aha, I did post it. Oh, I bookmarked it too, apparently. Um. Hook size four millimeter. Fuck off with that. I'm not using a four millimeter hook for 
worsted weight yarn. Making a blanket? Nice. A good time of year for it. Here, need that one today. Um, knitted or crocheted, AJ? I love this pink so much. It's us go that you do both. Are you still teaching knitting? Oh no, this makes me think of sweet that my mum used to make called coconut ice not anymore and I can't remember what the ingredients were exactly for it uh -oh. but I was torn between liking it or not liking it because I liked the flavor but I wasn't fussed with the texture this is the coconut. Use my six mil hook for this. Ow. Plant on my desk bites me. Oh, crap. Very often. Three and a quarter. That's. And that's five and a half. Ow! Ow! Jesus Christ! My my plant on my shelf here is a bromeliad. Not very healthy, but she's spiky. He's like super spiky. Oh, she needs a drink. Okay. I don't know how this thing has survived a year in my room, honestly. Oh, it may have been a mistake. Okay, give her a drink. But yeah, it's a pretty little plant, but she's, uh, she's got lots of spike spikes on each side of her leaves. Let's say wings and feathers then. Bites. Okay, I don't know where my six mil hook is.
I don't know where I put it. gonna be in my folder here. I have no idea where I put it. Alright, so what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna start working on a scarf. Every row is a color change. Um and I want to avoid weaving in ends. So I'm going to try and use a join that I've seen people use for scraping knitted blankets. And I think it will work. It might just take a little bit of eyeballing to get the, uh, the measurements right. But I think we can do it. So I need Dark blue and green to start with. Um, the colors that we're working with for this project are the colors from the pride flag. Because it's just how we are. In fact, let's... Did I... I got this here? I have. Hey! I have. Here we go. These are the colors of the scarf. Just, uh... I, oh, it's a GIF. All right. Um, so yeah, these are the colors for the scarf. Should probably write this down. Well, now I have to find the end. Oh, I hate this bit. It's gonna yarn barf at me. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's gonna yarn barf. So theoretically, if you pull yarn from the center of a skein, it has a few different advantages. One is that twist of the yarn is less likely to come undone as you work it which is nice you end up with tidier work two your yarn doesn't bounce all over the place when you pull it and it's easier to work with but 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 the downside is that sometimes finding the middle sucks and you can sort of like smoosh it together and sometimes it'll help it come out. But apparently not this time. I'm making such a mess of this. But doing center pull also means that you can have like a bunch of yarn skeins all stacked up next to each other if you're doing a multiple color project. And it's tidier. Oh, oh, we found it. Aha! Victory for Sovereign Guard. All right. It wasn't super graceful, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like this is like a bad night after Guinness. Whoopsie! You know, both both ends are less like. <sighs> um, but that's okay. We're just gonna tuck that back in. No one will notice that the end of the yarn is prolapsed. It's fine.
<laughs> we we do we do all have days like that i said i could have there's really not going to be that much difference between me using a six mil hook and five and a half so i should just stop faff faffing about all right so Forty-seven. Get my oh, my little stitch markers out. If I found my six mil hook in here, I would have cracked up. Well, hello, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> oh. All right. I mean, Sinead O'Connor quotes are a strong first message. Hi, Fem Patel. How you doing? given up counting already i'm just gonna do a bunch and then go back and count them i kind of feel like that's a thing that would be quite cathartic to do Surely that's got to be enough. Right, so I need 47. Yeah. Oh no, I guess you live there now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. I lost my count already. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, in. Oopsie. It's like. Doubles in the second chain from the hook. One, two. Half double in the next five. And two. Five. 
I'm assuming that's how I half double the two together. Oh, I don't think I did that right. Like that. Probably skip to yarn over, insert a hook, and yarn over, pull through. <laughs> Let me just double check that I'm doing that right. I don't want to get fuck it up on the very beginning. Hopefully we can find a video that doesn't have like a long winded story about how Aunt Mavis went to Bolivia. So yarn over and through, right? Pull up. Yarn over. Through. Pull up. Yeah. So five. Yarn over. Pull through them all. Okay, I did it right. It's like that with crochet patterns. You get to find out about people's spiritual awakenings. I'm like, dude, just tell me how to do a stitch. I don't care about the family cure for ingrown toenails. Just tell me how to do the stitch. Okay, I got it right there. Oh. Except. But actually what I want to do is here. And then skip two, and then here. Because it's a decrease. And then half doubles on the next five. Two. Three. Four. Five, then I'm guessing we're going to do three half doubles on the next stitch. Two. Ooh. Three. And five again. Got it now. Let me just do that to the end of the row. That'll give us the shape for the start. Three. Four. Five. And then we're doing an increase. Three. 
I'm curious to see how much easier this is going to be. Well, different, I should say, than during Granny Spears. Actually, before I get further there, I need to find the end on the- oh. Well, the end on the green was already sticking out, so that helps. Okay, we just did an increase, so now we do a decrease. So, here, two, here. Okay, I have an extra stitch in here somewhere, but that's okay, I can correct on this foundation row. But this is going to be the basic, the shape of the blanket, of the scarf, so... I wonder that this isn't a worry that this isn't wide enough. What do you think, Luna? Oh, I suppose it is actually, isn't it? And once there's more in here. I'm a fiend for a wide scarf, but I think this is probably about right. Yeah. It looks small to me, but I think as well, once a couple of rows are added in, it'll loosen it up. I'm just like, a foot wide? No, more. <laughs> more! <laughs> Alright, so we're doing... Two, three, four, five, Did a sneaky increase there, and then two half doubles at the end. Um, two. So, the plan is here. Because I'm going to make this distance here, the last upward strike of the, the V, be the join. Okay. So I'm going to try and figure out I can't, I can't remember. I'm going to have to find that video I sent you because I can't remember how I'm supposed to do it. I know that's not it. I'm supposed to like... Oh no, wait. Hang on a second. So like that's the spot there. Oh, 
But the idea is you... Okay, I think I- I think I know. How long is that? Hopefully, this is going to work. So the idea is this color change happens in exactly the right place. Okay, so it's a little bit shy. that approximately just to give me an idea for next time okay seven and a half that's fine I can always just trim the excess off there all right so row three chain one and turn That's a fucking mess there, isn't it? With all the extra. It'll work. But I need to tidy that up. Oh god. Okay, there we go. Oh, 
Also, I started this row a chain off, so let's just redo this. stitches I really need to do double for a secure connection <laughs> like if it's crocheted over two strands to weave it in I would, I would think that even like one or two stitches would be enough because you've got all the different directions in a stitch. This almost sounds like Animal Crossing. I do I think if I can get that join figured out, it's not going to add any more bulk than going backwards and forwards three times. You just have to figure out the length of it. Three, four, five. Well, now I have an extra stitch.
Stop it down there. Because I did the initial second half double in the first chain from the hook, not the second. I've got to get this foundation row right or my brain will just yell at me. All right, we'll see how this goes. Oh, wait, who next? Looking at the wrong fucking row. Thank you. I'd have to redo everything 50 times over, but hey, you... this is going to land the same way as the last one did. Whatever comes at the end of this row, we'll just deal with it. I'm not redoing it for a fourth time. I think the next row it tightens up a bit as well. Yeah, I've got an extra one there, but that's okay. I, I have no idea what's going on.
Great. Or Not quite. Almost, but not quite. Oh. Oh, hey, I could use that as a measurement. Length of crochet hook. Maybe? That's that's the ticket there. Right. Train one in tune. Two half doubles in the first stitch. So one. Eight. Two. Five. It's a little thicker. I think the next join will be better. I'm gonna finish this row and maybe try and bring in another color and see how that feels and then maybe we'll do a clean start once I've got the grasp but that's the thing the two half doubles use the yarn the length of the crochet hook that's I wanted like a, a measurement that I could like remember One, two, three, four, five. And I was going to mess around and do like back stitch only, back loop only. I don't think I'm going to mess with that.
There's a part of me that is almost tempted to be like not so much each row but like a one foot length of yarn so it turns scrappy i'm eating yarn I mean, it's already going to be scrappy, but like I can make it like extra scrappy. We'll see how this comes out. That's really daring. Okay, and then the next one was oh. No, not quite. Let's so see if I can get this length right. Okay, is it maybe end to the tape? That's what it is. Okay, and then we chain it one, do two half doubles in the first. Myself enough yarn here though. because I have to do chain
Oh, I did I completely miss an ad break there? My absorption. Yeah, I did. Sorry about that. Yes, I, I'm i torn on this, like I can already feel that this is extra thick at the ends, but I don't see a way of not having it been thicker at the edges, even if I'm manually um, weaving in the ends because of there being a color change every every row you know what I mean yeah like I'm just doing honestly I could probably just do the last half double I was like, what is it? Oh, right, you said chonky. So honks in there. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing double strands on the last two half doubles. I just realized I have a headache. Man, making shit up as you go is hard. Thank you, Darko. See, I don't... Basically the last, the, like the last inch of the scarf is just going to be like, what's well, not even double thickness really. Get a bo- oh, sounds really good Jay. Where's my burger? Just realized I haven't taken my vitamins. I'll do that instead. I'll do a good thing for my meat suit. Take my vitamins. Ow. These child-proof lids, where well, you have to like twist and push, are not very good for your hand. Good job taking you care of yourself, Jay. I think I'm just going to have to do a few rows and see how I feel.
I do like the zigzag pattern. Man, we had such fancy ideas for this scarf at the start, Luna, with all the stitch changes, and now I'm like... I love the idea of it, and I still mean to finish your... your scarf pattern for myself at some point. So I might find, now that... well, once the blanket... blanket is done, and I know how much yarn I'll have left on my shelf, I might use the yarn there rather than the other stuff I was using. And do the uh, the dice roll in. I don't even think I've used a scarf this year. I feel like I'll get a better, um, like the more I do this, the better judge I'll get at figuring out like the colors, the how much yarn I need. Could you not do that? Too long again. just made it shorter what the fuck your stream thank you for the raid yeah I'm good thank you just trying to figure out I like what this is doing. Doing some experimental crochet. Uh, same as always, really. Same shit, different bucket. 
playing games, doing crafts. It sounded a lot like being gay and doing crime. I'll take that too. Whoopsie. Oh, you split. Oh dear. How are you and the family? Uh, for everyone who came over, sorry, I'm like I'm so absorbed in what I'm doing, I'm not paying attention now. But for those of you who came over with Komodo, that was not the appropriate sound to make. Um, <laughs> Hello, I'm Deliria. My pronouns are she, her. I am currently doing crochet. When I'm not doing crochet, I am playing survival, crafting, exploration, gathery, buildy type games. Uh, currently fixated on Project Zomboid, soon to be refixated on Vintage Story. I like to blow shit up and set things on fire. Good, I'm glad you're doing all right. Don't like this. Oh, hi, it me, Del. Would oh, you do me a thanks. favor, please? Go take you. your meds, drink some water, read a book. Just invest a little time on yourself today. You deserve it. I really hate that one. Hmm. Thank you for the be healthy reminder though. Yes, I did just take my vitamins, so I've done my be healthy. Also, they sounded really fucking loud. Was that super loud? Huh? Right. Everything's loud. All right, that looks a little better. I don't think we're gonna have like perfectly tidy edges and I don't know if I'm happy with that. I mean, the other option is to literally just like work over the tail. Thanks for the lurk. Do the color change and work over the tail. But I don't know how secure that would be. I'm still paranoid about it being secure. I don't know. I don't think this this method is joining method is working for me though.
but I'd rather mess around with it and figure it out. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, I know, like, for Omega Remy, I feel like it's okay because the tails go on the inside. But I kind of worry about for a scarf that they might, like, if I'm just going over the ends for like two inches or whatever. Good night, Goose. Thanks for hanging out. Like, in th mm, hypothetically, it should be okay. But I just, I'm, it's working. Like what I'm doing is working a hundred percent and it is something that I can consistently do and have a consistent result. But I don't like the way that this looks. It's not a clean enough edge. And I don't know how much that's going to improve with me getting the measurements right. I know what I can do to test it. I'm going to weave over a different piece of yarn in a different color and just see how loose it feels if I pull on it. But also,
you've got to be a way to do color changes every row without having mountains of fucking weaving in. Like that is that is clearly not secure. So admittedly it's gonna it will be at one end. So I guess what I need to do actually is stitch over it on the next row to mimic it being anchored in the row before. Right? My brain is not working at all. I think I need a biscuit. This cookie is very loud. What if I combine the two techniques? Um. So when I get to the end of the row, I tuck the other color through. So I've got a clean end. then chain, turn, and then stitch over the tails. I mean, to be fair, if, if I were there, I would also probably be trying to get to your garlic bread. I just, I don't feel like this is secure enough. Especially because it's such a loose stitch. I think if it were a single crochet, it would be fine. But with a half double, I think it's too loose. It doesn't take that much effort to pull that out. All right. We're going to frog this all and we're going to start again. Actually, I'm not going to frog the entire thing. I'm just going to. It's going to do this last row. So. And two, then I'm going to still split? No, that's fine. Double the first one.
Okay. And drop that tail. Just in time for yellow. Oh, perfect. I needed some polite menacingness stuff going on. Hey, darling. Thank you. Okay, I guess I will um, close your stream. Yay, it's Soma. Hi, Soma. I hope you had fun. The game looked really interesting, and I totally wasn't peeking while I was streaming because that would be a thing that I wouldn't do. Hi, Accountant Amy. Welcome in. Um, for everyone who came in with Soma, hello. Hi, I'm Deluria. My pronouns are she, her. I am currently figuring out the construction for this year's craft project for subs. So every sub gets a stripe on the blanket. Basically, <laughs> that's a pattern I'm to change. Uh, for 2023, every sub got a square and a granny blanket, which turned out to be quite a big project, which I still haven't finished. I still have 57 squares to go. Um, this year, we're doing a slightly smaller project. We're doing scarves with colors from the pride flag. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out joining techniques for all the different colors so that it's comfy and safe in the wash yeah it definitely gave me like age of empires vibe i was i was very intrigued and not watching at all um soma plays uh for everyone in here if you don't follow soma please please do they are wonderful uh, they play a wide range of games. Um, they are a variety streamer. Today they played something not Baldur's Gate 3, which is very impressive. Um, but we have a lot of, like, a, a lot of our games. We both, we all like the same sort of shit. You know, like the No Man's Sky and cute medieval things. And, and also, Soma is incredibly talented at makeup and wears the best costume jewelry ever and if that doesn't make you follow them i don't know what will if you don't i'm gonna poop in your weedies there you go i can't be any more convincing than that mate I mean, I, I won't poop in your weedies because I don't know where you all live. And that's a lot of, a lot of poop. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for the lurk. Urgh, I don't know. I don't like, I'm not loving this. I'm not loving this at all. Oh yeah, like look how easy that was to come out. But, oh actually, do I need to weave over that? I did that as a double, right? Hmm. Oh man, the focus is all goffed. Fucking cameras, man. Oh, that wasn't the button I meant to push. Here. I think... I don't know. Luna, what do you reckon? I almost feel like the stitches are still too loose. Like, visually, to have this tail tucked in behind I 
So what I did on the first stitch... <laughs> hey, thank you for the follow! The first stitch I did two strands. So it, the yellow is firmly anchored in there. I feel confident in that. I have a tidier edge. But I still have to figure out what to do with this tail from the previous color. I'm trying to figure out a way to get... Like, not to, to not have to weave in zounds of ends. Because this is, like, super stretchy. Okay, so the other idea I have is still doing the multiple colors, but making it scrappy. So basically, a length of yarn, if I make like a fixed length of yarn, add that to the blanket, and then I can do the double over so I could be like oh I'm gonna add my color here do my X whatever stitches And then it'll just be what it is and it'll look scrappy and chaotic but it'll probably be a lot easier friends sending me messages that are making me want to cry again all right. But yeah, if I do like the the oh, length <laughs> the length thing. Like if I use like the length of I don't know, like double my desk or whatever and make it just if I use exactly the same length of yarn, we could potentially end up with this interesting, like, slanted shift of color changes. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, either I actually, I kind of. Hi, Karen. Um, we are starting the sub project for this year. Um. Which instead of blankets is a scarf with colors from the pride flag. Um, and I'm testing a couple of different join methods to try and avoid weaving of ends. But so far they're all going to give me ugly edges and chunky edges. But what we were just thinking is 
if I used a fixed length for each color and treat it as a scrapey blanket, then I could end up with an interesting stripe going up the, the side of it. So I think I'm going to try and do that. Because otherwise, if, if for instance, I end up with the same number of rows as I have squares this year, that is a lot of ends to weave in for a, a scarf. And also I'm mindful that you don't want like bulky edges on a scarf, it'll feel gross. So I think what I'll do is we'll, we're going to frog all this. Frog, 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 ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Because weaving over the tail, apparently my crochet isn't tight enough for that. And <laughs> ribbit. I could try and work in a smaller hook, but I feel like <laughs> I, I feel like having a looser, like more um more ease on a scarf is more comfy. You know? Because then it can, you know, bunch up and catch air. Pockets of warmth and cosy. Oh, you're making a card, eh? I'm so impressed with your crafting skill. Ugh. Yes, it is. There's no, um, there's no response, but yes. Uh, ticket or enter will do it. Um, the command to bring up the information is exclamation mark blanket. I'm doing that instead of giveaway because I want people I know to win. Um, so this is what Sadie was asking about. Yeah. Um, so next Sunday night, we're going to draw winners for the two crochet blankets um, that I've made over 2023. One of which is not quite finished. I still have 57 squares to go in it. It's fine. I'm not crying. You are. Um, tickets don't cost anything. You literally just have to do exclamation mark ticket or enter to win. <laughs> so <Soma. laughs> Um, Yeah, perfect. Um, if you are international, I will ask for assistance. Oh God, uh, for shipping costs because I am broke as fuck. Um, but yes. Basically, I'm being a little bit more uh, insular and uh, exclusive with this giveaway because I've put so much effort into actually making the blankets that I want it to go to someone within the community. I want them to go to someone in the community. These blankets are about... Uh, it's a good size. <laughs> Sadie won the last blanket giveaway and if Sadie's name comes up this time Sadie gets a blanket because I know where Sadie lives ha and I will conspire with your wife um but yes so <laughs> if it yeah it totally works it, those are all valid hacks for a little while there this morning, or this afternoon, the the only person who had a ticket entry was Drax because my chat command wasn't working. And someone was trying to convince me that it was fine and I didn't need to change anything. But yeah, basically one ticket per person. You don't need to be here on Sunday. Uh, which is when we're celebrating my birthday. Um, but I'd really like it if you would come to my birthday party. Um, I don't know what we're doing. Other than giving away a blanket. 
probably playing Sims. Uh, which reminds me as well, next week when we're starting to move Sims into the Big Bother house for 2024, every subscriber is welcome to have a Sim put in the house. I need to make a chat command for that too. I don't know if my old one still works. Wait. Oh hey, yeah. Um. So you just make a sim. Yeah, cause yours is the yours is on Thursday, right? Cause we're all cool Capricorn babies. I. Uh, it's okay. Sure. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I added the Capricorn thing like Coda was going on about last year and it's not even popped, not once but yeah, mine's on Wednesday um, my actual birthday's on Wednesday but yeah, so if you want, if you would like to <laughs> I just realised I have a really bad habit of uh, maybe without the question mark um, I have a really bad habit of just like potentially putting information out there that I shouldn't need to be more aware of that um, yeah there it is <laughs> um, but yeah if you're a sub and you would like to add a sim to the household the big brother household you can you're welcome to do so. You can make a sim, upload it to the gallery, and I will import it. Uh, I won't interfere unless something happens that makes uh, you or me uncomfortable. Um, you can set all your preferences there if you are interested. These are the packs that I have, so make sure you, you use base game and only things from those packs to show. Um, and it will be running... Um, it'll be running all year. Um, we're gonna make a thing where we basically visit once a once a month. We're gonna do a Sims evening, uh, usually after trucks, and I'll have a community point redemption where if you guys put enough enough points to meet a goal, we'll do an extra Sim stream a month. I need to get some more check commands set up, huh? Okay, I think I'm gonna leave. You know. I'm just gonna restart this entirely. I'm gonna keep the. Cool! Well, the, the, we've just had uh, Dirty Toes uh, a couple of days ago, got me the Werewolves and Vampires pack and the Paranormal one because he wanted to be a werewolf. Um, we're just gonna just gonna we're just gonna start this one from scratch okay so let's see how long this is just out of curiosity so that's one two i'm using the width of my desk as a measure three four Okay, so let's say three. Croissant. We could say croissant as well. We could. So one, two, three. I'm using the croissant. um the edge of my desk is a measure. <laughs> You're also good at croissanting. You're so good at it. <laughs> hey. Okay. 
So that should be just shy of a row. The weird thing is, it's not a sound that I get annoyed with. Not like the cookie sound effect. I'm just putting these stitch markers in to measure to mark off the length of these ones. <laughs> Man, that was such a fun stream drawing Pierre. Hi, <laughs> Shipperman. Good night. Yes, all the games. I think these lengths will work out to be like two thirds to three quarters of a row. <clears throat> so it should be interesting. Okay. And then the little lumps and bumps will be in random spots and we don't mind random lumps and bumps. We're okay with random lumps and bumps. We just don't want regular routine lumps and bumps. It sounds terrible. I'm going to shut up about lumps and bumps now. Yeah, <clears throat> M squishy lumps and bumps. It's hard not to be lumps and bumps when you've got lumps and bumps. Okay, how many hours have I spent fucking around with this thing? Lumps and bumps. Okay. Two, three, four five six eh? six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine in one two three four five Eight. In that's thirty. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, in forty. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Chain 47. Also, ads are starting in just under 30 seconds. Good time to stand up, stretch, have a wee, get a snack, get a coffee. I'm going to go refill my water and probably have a wee too, but in different rooms. And I will see you soon.
Okay. Um. Let me put the stitch marker in. Are we gonna measure? One. Two. Three. I don't know how much difference it'll make. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so theoretically, this is the the end of the yarn. Okay. Have good rest. I love you too. I hope you'll feel better. Also, I'd love to see what you're knitting. If you would like to share. How is that 47? It looks so small. waiting for you to tell me it was like some sort of like sex thing a scarf shaped like a penis because apparently I'm five today lady's like god damn it Del ruin everything That's so gnarly. We were talking about reusable water balloons earlier. No, stop. Stop it. Stop it. God, wasn't there a part during the pandemic where people were talking about crocheting tampons and I was just like, oh God, please don't do that. That was a thing, right? People were talking about that in crocheted masks. I'm like, please, please don't. I I vaguely recall us talking about that idea and being very, very immensely grossed out, much like I am right now, and yet I bring it up again. Okay, it's fine. One, two. I'm just gonna carry on and we're just gonna pretend I didn't say that. I didn't say those things at all. Exactly. Sadie, my mind is going all sorts of weird, white, terrible places with that. Now, she, now you're going to just wander off cackling and go lay down again and leave me to that torture. No, please, please, no, 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 please, no, go, go lay down and rest, please. And if I don't see you before your birthday, have a good birthday. Well, that doesn't sound fucking ominous. Oh, wait, I have a thing, don't I? I thought I had a thing. Don't have a thing.
I have hiccup. It's kind of hiccup burps. Ring. I'm intrigued to see how this is going to turn out. I hope it'll be okay, or I'm going to have to figure out another way. Okay, so it's just shy. The length I selected is going to be just shy of a row. I fused it to shy of a row. I think that's okay. I think everyone here is just a few stitches short of a row. Maybe I, I know how many stitches short of a row I am. All right, we've committed now. We do this. Oh, no, it needs a little bit longer. Just to give me enough. Let's see if that's enough. Oh, I guess I need to make sure I'm taking it Ooh, the other end. Good. 
Okay, so that will be here. That's fixed. Wait. One, one, two, three. Wait, wait. Oh, right. That's the decrease already. Three, four, five, Oh my god, my nose. So itchy. So I think. Luna, I know I keep on asking you for, for your input. I hope you don't mind. I've got it. <laughs> um, so I've done the join here. I've done one stitch with a double up of the blue and one stitch with a double up of the purple. Even though that's not the color it's supposed to do. That should be adequate, right? That doesn't look like it's going anywhere. I guess I have to undo it now anyway. Oh god, I can barely un- yeah, I think that's gonna be stable because I have to keep on like Hugging to make it come undone just for me. Should have done green. Too much of a tail there. Where did that go? That from? Hello? I think I'll have to try a couple of joins, but... London Bridge is falling down apparently. Right. 
chain one in turn. Well, I guess as well, I'm tugging on this end and I have no idea what it's doing, so I guess it's fine. And... Um. Two, three, four, five. Oh, I wrote the start place wrong, maybe. Let me put the marker in here and we'll just go back and analyze. I'm not I'm not really happy how this looks. But that looks pretty good on this side, I think. Probably need to work at making that a tidier stitch. Pulling on this tail is doing literally nothing. Okay. That feels a lot better and I feel like that's a lot tidier. But I'm going to go back and do see if I can get that looking better. I know I can do a better job of this. I think part of it is that decrease was happening, or the color change was happening over a decrease. Let's go back one more. <laughs> Hey, could you maybe hold that? Cool, thanks. And two, there. Ah, uh, there. There. Hi, Bakma. Oh, God. Uh, this is fine. Ugh. Oh god, this is not fine. <laughs> that and the narrator says, and and that was not fine at all. All right, let's try this again. Here and here and here and here. Okay, get out of there, tail. We don't want you there. Okay. Oh, 
Hopefully this is better. And we ditch the tail. There. All right. It's fine. I 100% know what I'm doing. Everything is awesome. This yarn is a little bit splitty, but I think it'll be fine once I stop reusing the same pieces over and over again. Okay, this is better already. That is a tidier join on that side. Even though that spans a, a decrease. And it looks better on this side too. But I'm also now thinking that having it span a decrease is a dumb idea. But we'll see. Bachman, how are you doing today? Nitty pot. Oh, uh, uh, mate, right, right, uh, speech to text program to detect when people mention the word headache. Sign the sea. Well, I hope you get a good sleep and wake up feeling a, a bit less blurt. I think we're making progress. We're bad at sleep. I'm not very good at it either. I'm gonna take it back further. Yes. So, basic, there's. I, I'm trying to figure out 
the the best way to add in colors so we don't end up with like really bulky gnarly looking edges um and in, and figuring out the construction in such a way that i don't need to do a lot of hand sewing so i'm trying to use <laughs> I'm trying to use a joining technique used for knitting. Oh god. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a stable enough joint join. Um Yeah, I'm trying to use a, a technique, a joining technique from knitting in this to see if it'll help. Three, four. Because it'll make it so much less painful. It is. It's a good thing I'm not actually making that many scarves. Soma. Two, three, four, five, six. Starting chain is all jacked up here. Oh, I know what's going on here. I need, I need more fingers. That would, that would definitely help. I don't know why I didn't think of that before, actually. You're so clever, Buckma. Now I understand how, how it is that you're the best mod on Twitch. These brilliant ideas. Uh, it should be there. I've had people suggest gifts on throne. Why do I feel like I would if I if I provide that often, provide that option, you're gonna suggest tiny hands. Um, we don't need jingle bells. Um, certainly, Bakma. I'm not suspicious at all. I got I got a webcam craft funded today through Throne. I'm super excited. All right, business is going about about this. That means my craft streams will look better. Oh no, look, it's still just chunky. The fuck?
Am I being too picky? A curious thing to bring up in conversation. How weird. Uh, the exciting new camera will be for face. Um, I'm getting an Elgato face cam, so that'll be for face, and then I'm going to bring the Brio down for crafting. Well, that's the plan. Um, I've got the 1080 uh, face cam, but apparently that's supposed to be better than what I have. The Brio is supposed to be 4K. But I just, the Logitech webcams just infuriate me immensely. But the Brio that I'm using for face cam does do a better color job of dealing with color, which is one of my frustrations with crafting. So hopefully things will work out. The nine, the, I mean, there is nothing wrong with a 920 at all. Hey, Jabroman, thank you. Um, I sort of alternate between using a 920 and a 922 for crafting, and there's really not that much difference. They do a good job. I've just got picky, and I want to try and tweak things. Hi, Poit Poit. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, you're cute. Yes. Did I do something weird there? You've, oh, nice. Good job, Pud. I, I saw that photo that you seen Flynn on Discord and laughed. I totally thought, um, it was, I thought it was something else. Which would have made me laugh anyway. Oh, that's better. I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. 
but yeah, I, th I think if the if the webcam works out, I think the next will be maybe a mic up trying to get it upgrade my mic. Mikey is in a ball and you can like oh yeah that sounds like you but just realized I filled up my water bottle but did not do the drink <laughs> must do the drink I did 10 granny squares on the blanket and I was like, right, that's enough. I'm going to do some experimenting now. Oh, well, thanks, Bachma. I'm just, I'm always, at first, I'm always worried that my mic is peaking. And we were talking about it earlier on stream and everyone's like, no, we tell you if your mic sounded terrible. Like, half of the stream were like, we would have told you. But yeah, I can't handle like janky mics if they're like peaking or crackly and background noise and Right, one, two, three, four. Five. Oh really? This is a small world. A small world for a small pud pud. That's cool. One to one. I love the sound that air hockey tables make, like the the sliding and the the sort of the echoey clank of the plastic. How do we feel about that as a join? It'll be consistent throughout. So every time we have a color change, it'll look like a little blip, I guess. I think I'm going to have to do another color and just see how I feel about it. have to science it. Ah, thanks, Pud. What I, st what I started doing would have been fine. But exactly, like everything's just like a few, a few <laughs> stitches short of a row with lumps and bumps. It's pleasingly blippy. Yeah, it's like a little, I don't know, like a little comma. All right. We shall see. I think once I add another color onto this. So what I'm doing, instead of doing an entire row um, in a certain color, I'm actually doing, going to do like three quarters of a row so I don't have to do joins on ends but it's going to end up with a very interesting striping going on and it means if I can do joins like this I don't have to do any hand sewing which is easier on me it'll be faster and 
It's a pride flag, so ain't nothing straight about it. Flip. Oh. Oh, ow. Hey, Pod, can you... You have your computer now, right? Um, don't, I, I mean, I don't plan to, Soma. It's happened. It's definitely happened a few times. Hmm. Okay. Um, but we're starting Big Bother for this year again. No, that's fine. I don't need you at your computer now. I was just going to ask you a question if you have time. Um, but basically we're starting Big Bother, uh, again this year, so we can either use your sim that you had last year, or since you've got a computer, you can install the sims and you can make your own sim and upload it. And then I can bring that one into the house. Because the base game of Sims 4 is free. You have well there you go. Make it I can't remember if you if you made the one that we have last year or if we made it together. I feel like maybe we made it together. But yes, if you if you have it. Okay, perfect. If you if you would like, um, and this is the same for anyone here who's a sub. Um, you can create your own sim in Sims 4 and upload it to the gallery and uh, use like a hashtag with like big bother or just like let me know where to find it and we will import it into the big bother house uh, for this year. You're always a sub, you are put. Very good job. Yeah, so you can you can make your own if you like, and we're going to start moving them in on Wednesday, which is my birthday. Um, and if anyone's wondering what the fuck Big Bother is, a uh, Big Bother is a annual year round shenanigans that runs in The Sims Four in stream. <laughs> um. So basically everyone who's a sim, uh, everyone who's a sub can put a sim in this one big house. Well, this time it's like a little medieval kind of hamlet. Um, and then we just put them together and see what happens. And that's it. Um, I will interfere only if something weird is happening. Like if, if there's a, an uncomfortable interaction between sims or if Sim's going to die because of something dumb that I've done. But otherwise, it's hands off and it's like watching a train wreck and a fishbowl. Well, we can use that one. Or maybe you and Mel could make one together. Or maybe Mel could make it for you. Yes. I think we're going to change the way that we'll deal with ghosts as well this time. And let people have a DNR. Uh, but the plan is we're going to do one stream a month, uh, probably after trucks, um, where we play for a few hours. And then we're going to have a community points goal where people can add to the points total to redeem for an extra sim stream a month. And we'll see how we go with that. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. Um, and if you don't have access or the ability to make a sim, like if your hard drive's full or whatever, um, we can make one together. But I, I spent so much time making sims for other people last year that it was a little bit overwhelming. 
So I, I'm hoping people can just make their own because the base game is free now. Oh, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to start moving them in on Wednesday. And I don't have a button on my stream deck for it. Uh, also, for anyone who missed it earlier. Stream elements. Please. You're of the sleepy. Are you nearly home? Stream elements stopped working. Yeah. Is it even still in here? It is still in here. <laughs> Why is stream element? All right, please hold. Here. Okay, this is this is what I was trying to say. Here. I'm just gonna add it onto a button on my stream deck. There. I do not I deliberately don't have a giveaway command. I had it set to blanket. Which apparently Stream Elms has said no fuck you. So that's fun. Um But yes, so you can, uh, if anyone would, if any of you would like to enter to win one of the two blankets, that's how you do it. And we're going to give them away on Sunday night. Sunday, like this time next week. Why is wording so Very close to this time next week. I am now questioning doing a zigzag scarf pattern. Okay, what was the next color? Purple. I can't even remember what Stream Elements was doing at that particular time existing in the most annoying way possible Wait, did that one work properly? Two, three, four, five. the last one is that it it is now chain one and turn oh hey that looks okay
Well, that looks good there too. Your grandma is so... I'm so glad you're living with your grandma now. Aww. Well, good. That means you can eat before you go to bed. probably need to figure out food at some point. I'm really happy with that particular- that is really tidy and I like that and that makes me happy. Wind. So it looks like each time it's just going to knock it back like that much if I carry on doing what I'm doing, which is great. I'm happy with that. And actually by doing shorter rows, I should potentially not end up having to worry about having a 16 foot scarf. Going by... what we went last time i can't remember if it was 16 or something but it was it was something ridiculous i'm gonna have to do two if it... not everyone wants to be like doctor oh wait you don't you don't watch doctor who what if 16 foot scarf i mean true but then no at that point, they're really, it's really hard. The last scarf I made was 10 feet long. I made it for a tall, a tall person. What, it's not specifically 16 foot, but one of the Doctor Who's uh, is known for having a very long scarf, a long striped scarf. But no, I, I made a 10 foot scarf for someone and it was, the last part of it was really hard because it was just like, <laughs> scarf everywhere um but out of out of the subs for 2023 i got 540 ish granny squares and each row is half an inch so you can math that out to be like how long the scarf is going to be but reducing the row length a little should help with that too here's my favorite doctor who <laughs> uh, ooh, host on No Man's Sky channel. Wait. Oh, it's Echo. Oh, God. Okay. Do I need to change the phrasing though? The rows then to like chunks or slices or something less alarming sounding? A chunk? I could make that a chunk. That would, that could be good.
Oh god. It is. Just choose your yacht. That's true. Hey, why you gotta do that? Look, that's not cool. I mean, it's fine. I'm being too picky again, aren't I? Oh, ads coming up in like less than 30 seconds. So a good time to stand up and stretch and get a drink. And, and have a wee if you need to. Even subs are allowed to get up and have a wee if they need. <laughs> choose your ch choose your weapon why does my hair feel so dry today um i'm gonna stand up and and have a break i'll be back in a tick You're welcome. No, he didn't. They'll do. Soma's gonna all the chunks their way to a 16 foot scarf. That sounds like a lot of work. Give me. Give me my candy. be careful opening this because last time I opened these containers it bit hard. Yes. Ginger. Mm. Now I have to make sure I pick up the snake from here and not here. Me too. And it's good for you. That's a very long ticket, Soma. Yeah, we got this stuff on closeout from the local grocery store. So it's a, I guess it was a Christmas deal. So we got it for a dollar. The stuff's normally like three or four dollars a tub. And it's really nice. It's soft. You know, you get like some candy ginger. It's like, that it gets really tough and gnarly. The stuff is good.
Hey, where did that come from? Excuse me? That'll do it. Blipped the air. All right. One, two, three, four, five. This certainly feels like less of a hassle than squares. I think I like how this is coming out. This isn't what I had in mind at all when I started, but that's okay. That's the creative process. It'll look interesting. Who knows what it's going to be like at the end, but it's going to be interesting. I think I just have to make sure I don't do the join a, a breaching across this I suppose it did come out okay the decrease there three four five Mm-hmm. 
one more. Happy Sunday, wine. Hello. Hello, hello. Is that? Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so the next color is brown. We're doing experiments. Experimental, not archaeology, which apparently is the first word that I think of after the word experimental. Experimental crochet. -y. Hope you've had a nice evening, so uh, Wayne. Gobble. Oh my. Snow deck. Oh, lovely. Stop it. Fingers. I, I don't know why, but I keep on being pleasantly surprised at how these joins look. Two, three, four, five. Oh, that's fine. And two, three. Uh, hello, what are you doing? I don't, I don't know. I think I need to like pull all the tails onto one side.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, two. There, hello, in there, please. Thank you. All right. I don't have enough yarn left there. All right, so let's pull. You back through there. And you. feel about this basically this would be how the scarf would develop with these weird sort of two-third rows and different colors all the colors are kind of the same sort of jewel tones all pride flag colors I'm pretty comfy with these joints. They're actually not too thick, which is what I was concerned about. Like there's a, there is a little bit of a, a increase in, in volume there, but not too much so. No, I'm not sure. I really wish the colors worked better. If that's... See, look, that looks so much different on this king on. Hang on, let, let's come over here. There, now you can see the colors better. It's like a superhero mask. But not a very good superhero mask. It is a fun M. Here. Yeah. It's such a difference in the colors. But yeah, that's. <laughs> I am. I am. I am cat. And a woman. Not cat woman. But this this coloring is this is one of the reasons I want to move the cameras. I don't I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. It's gonna be one of those things where I'm gonna to have to let it sit, I think. It is it is certainly um less asshole than everything else. I mean, I don't have to do a zigzag scarf. I could just do a straight scarf. What am I saying? It's pride colors. That makes no sense. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I 
there's nothing I can do to this camera to make the colors look right. I hadn't considered that. I don't know if it's had time to figure that out yet. I only just created it. I have to give it time to, to stew, I guess. Oh, this piece was spicy. Woo. Hi. Stew. I don't know. I was gonna say it's kind of late for stew, but it's not really. Mm. Ooh, I'll be right back. I just saw the temperature. I need to go bring the doggo in. You guys can like melt, stare at the the blank this the scarf swatch and. When I come back, I would like opinions. Yeah, I just realized I didn't specify opinions on what. So I set myself up there, didn't I? <gasps> Hi, Ollie! Ooh, I had to go and let the dog go in because it's chilly out there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Is this... Yeah, I don't know if this is something that would be enjoyable as a scarf to wear. I mean, it feels nice and it's it's soft. Okay. So what we've decided it's very close to Gucci Green, actually. If you look on, on my primary webcam. I've been messing about trying to find a, a, a way of adding colors without needing to weave in ends. <laughs> so what we've come up with is basically three quarters of a row. And then I don't have to worry about making uncomfortable color changes at the end of rows. It just looks better. I'm still not happy about this bit. But I think what I need to do maybe is just like leave it. And then just like see how I feel. Uh, three. Wait, are we talking cereal again? It is wine. Definitely three. Ali and her wife have like 
the most amazing collection of cereals. Me too. This stuff is like really soft as well, like really tender. So a piece that I had before was a bit spicy. Need to restock. Gotta wait for them one of them buy one get one free sales. We did we did ten granny squares today. I think This is going to look very, very homemade. <laughs> with, with the color changes being all wonky and uneven. Ooh, we were, when we were in there the day that um, I got that orange cranberry one, was a lady ahead of us online who was getting salads because she knew that she wouldn't be able to eat it straight away instead of a sandwich and holy crap the salads looked amazing she's like honestly you get the same as what you would get in a sandwich yeah 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 pub subs but less um you know you don't have to worry about the soggy bread and i was like oh shit pub subs pub subs that's where I got this from. Christmas, post Christmas closeout for a dollar. So we keep meeting to go in and get a salad just to see because it was huge. And if they're that good, I'd rather get a couple of big salads. <laughs> Hey, what you've still got you can't have any left surely it's so good this is really good diced up finely and put in chocolate fudge I won't say no if you want to see me ginger I would never say no to Ginger. I do have a few things to get in the mail, including I've got something to send up to you, Ali. Okay. I have to put the lid on it. Oh, yum. Wine. Hmm. Oh, really? Oh, that was a spicy one too. Tell me more. Oh, bitter. Oh, nicely done. I'm glad that they uh, they they recognize how hard you work. Tea biscuit. Um, is it going to work now? Let's see. Hey, it's working now. <laughs> okay I think I need to just let that sit
Um, there's no response in chat, but it's it's logged. So far, we have eight entries. So what are we? What are we doing? What are we? What are we? What are we? What are we? I can word. I think I've had enough with crochet today. I could try and do a little cross stitch. Um, they're okay at the moment, but I have been stopping and Luna's been reminding me to stretch a lot. But I have, I have some knitting, basic knitting, blanket knitting I could do. Or a little cross stitch, which I've barely started. This is my Friday night, so I can go, I can go nuts and I can do whatever craft I want. Thank you for the hydrate and stretch reminder. I need... Where are my little stars? Oh my stars. Where are you? Are you in here? What's that? No, you're not in- Oh, electrical tape! I was looking for that the other day. I can't remember what for, but I know I was looking for it. Um, how- how have your earbuds worked out for you, Ali? Are they doing okay? So I've got, uh, choose, Tuesday, I have no idea. Okay, awesome. I'm, I'm glad. I was worried that like you'd get them and then they'd just be terrible. <laughs> but I was like, oh no. Um, I said, honestly, for the price, I think they're fantastic. Um... And I, I'm just blown away by the, the quality of them. So Tuesday, I know Tuesday between like one and four, I've got an order. Uh, um, Punky is sending some food for my birthday. Wednesday, I use birthday stream, but I don't know when we're starting. Birthday! And I don't know if we're doing anything on Monday or not. I've I've requested Flint treat me like a princess for the entirety of the week as my birthday gift. So we'll we'll see how how that goes. I think we might have different definitions of princess. Um, but I was like, I don't want to do any dishes or any laundry, but I'm going to anyway because I can't not. Um, but I might, I might be, I might be available tomorrow. I'm assuming this just took me, a, you know what? That's fine. Put me in a tower with a pile of books and some yarn. Perfect. Give me a week in a tower. That would be amazing. I would love that so much. Where's my knitting? Oh god. Hi. I want to just sit here and not do anything. Um, I'm assuming you have Monday, Tuesday off.
Yeah. <laughs> no, because you know what I do, Luna? I'd sit in the window and just fucking daydream all week. <laughs> and nothing would get done. Or I'd spend the entire time stressing about what thing I should try and do first. <laughs> and not get anything done at all. Alright. Work on. Oh, the color is wrong, wrong, wrong for that. Ish. Have you on everywhere? Yeah. I could trade my voice. What? Oh, okay. Sorry, it took me a second there. <laughs> I was like, what? Nah, can we go the other way around? Can I, can I turn into a very vocal mermaid? The little mermaid that burbled with all the poor, yeah, and hang out with all the poor desperate souls. So this is a the start of a blanket. And it's super squidgy. And requires literally no brain, which is perfect. It is. It's like really, it's two different strains of yarn put together, um, which gives it like squidge. It's very, there's, there's not enough blanket. You could speak in stereo or you could be like a ventriloquist. It'd be great if you didn't want to have a button on your stream deck to do like silly if you could like pr just pick what pitch the other voice was in you could do like you know like baby voice and in robot voice and all those others real easy like if you could have like an on off like a, a channel switch between like you know primary and secondary voice i i think maybe i'm getting into it a bit far possibly Yeah, my voice, whoopsie. I think I'm gonna need to get longer cable. Wait, wait. <laughs> hey, welcome in. That is a very good name. You are welcome here. Hi, hello. Don't mind lit, don't. <laughs> don't mind lit bot. Hello, hello, hello. That is a lot of me. <laughs> and a treat, sure, I'll take a treat. I'm gonna have another cookie. This was my Thanksgiving hide in a corner project. Let's get steady. I thought I'd forgotten what to do, but apparently I haven't. We can change sides.
Yeah, so we basically like where I could like sit in the corner and and look too busy for people to talk to. So I have no social obligations. Did our music stop? Or am I just not hearing things? It looks weird. Why does that look weird? It's playing? Okay, I just can't hear it then. I was supposed to do back. Oh, uh, I think I was supposed to do backwards. Back and then the footprint. Eh. Yeah, the fingers remember as long as I don't think about it. Yeah, and it's just for me, so I'm not really... Not too phased. Yeah, there's basically... I got the knit and the pearl in the wrong order there. Should you start knitting? Sure, why not? Go for it. I learned off YouTube. I haven't done any like shaped stuff really with knitting um but i find it quite relaxing yeah we did crochet class on stream and coda and arnie learned how to do crochet coda even made his mama blanket Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I usually keep like the knitting j like just for simple projects like this because I don't have to think. I can just sort of... Once I've been doing it for a few minutes, my brain just goes into automatic and I don't really need to pay much attention. And it's quite nice. Oh god, please don't fall off the desk. The only frustration I have with knitting is the need to use these little buggers. Because if you don't, you will drop your work, and that sucks. <sighs> it's interesting using two strands of yarn at the same time. Yeah, I don't know. I like, I've got to a point now where I can't, I struggle to sit with idle hands. Like I need something to do. And so knitting and crochet are what keep me occupied. So the days where my hands are too sore to do that, it's just like, oh God, what do I do? But normally if I can't do crochet, I can knit and vice versa. Because they have hold tension in different parts of your hand. And I still have that really cute cross stitch that Echo sent as well. Or someone sent. Mysteriously. And addressed to the same way that Echo addresses their mail to me.
I'm half contemplating taking a week off at the end of the month too, but I haven't decided yet if I can do that. Have to see how that goes. Well, it depends if I get the, um, if I hit the benchmark to, to get pay for the next month or not. Because I don't want to go six weeks between paychecks. The only thing, the only issue I have with these earbuds is when I talk a lot, they kind of work themselves loose. So half the time when I say I can't hear is because they've just like shifted in my ear a little. But honestly, the fact that they don't like dig into your ear is so amazing. Good night, Ollie. Thanks for popping in. I haven't. Soma, like, between you and Bakma, like, you've just got the best ideas. I don't... I don't have a proper earbud stapling gun, though. Uh, I don't know if, if you can get one of those on Amazon. Yeah, Anna's getting stuck in the middle of the skein. Why are you doing this to me? Why must you mock me so? Uh. Okay. Oop. Just don't know. I still don't know if I like that or not. Nope, you still, you split. Stop that. Here we go. One nice thing is that with this being at the start, this is relatively early on, it's not too hard to flip over. looking at jokes that Flint's put in his 
chat and his raid. It's terrible. I'm waiting for someone to come in and say, your stream's tagged as crochet, but you're knitting. Um, 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 um. Wait, wait. I'm not playing right? Like, how dear. Actually, I think that's fine. Some chat are. The number of times where I get people asking me what a stabby hooker is. Usually a first time chatter will be like, what's a stabby hooker? And then I decide how much of a troll I am. And be like, well, if you have to ask, or you're not old enough. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. It doesn't matter. As soon as you put, like, anything like that doesn't matter how you spell it it people just don't see them i do get backseating on crafting not so much now but i definitely had backseating on crafting on uh crochet and knitting streams way back in the day Which is fucking weird. Like, you're doing it wrong. Like, how can you craft wrong? If you're making something, it's consistent and you're enjoying it. There is no wrong. Oh, no. But I get told that I was holding. Oh my god, I bared, I know. Like, my stitches were literally slanting the wrong way, and I'm holding the needles wrong. I'm such a fucking no. Hi, Baird. And am I using UK or US definitions? Actually, the great thing is now I can wind people up because I can switch between two different content, uh, two different knitting methods. Oh yeah, absolutely. So it's been a lot less of an issue in 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 recent years with the crafting anyway. Maybe I look less incompetent. Or more like I don't give a fuck. The 
this is the um the potential start for the sub scarf this year it'll just keep on getting longer and longer with the colors from the pride flag And I keep staring at it in case- oh god, yarn barf! I got yarn barf! In case if I stare at it long enough, it'll give me the answer? Right? Actually, it's not barf. It's ex I'm not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> this is why my yarn is beginning tangled up. Look at this fucking mess. What the hell? Still attached. So Flint and I started watching. We we finished the um the most uh recent or the last uh Doctor Who series a uh, season with Jodian. And I was like, oh. now we've got that stressful decision of what do we watch next. Because we, you know, without subscribing to another channel. And we ended up settling on Matlock. And honestly, it's been really fun. And I'm so impressed with how progressive that show is for the 1980s. Oh, fuck me, this is something. And I didn't realize it's uh, Andy Griffith. Like in, I think it was like started being produced in like 1986 or something. Oh, this is so fucked up. I just want to cut it up. <laughs> oh. Okay, this. This doesn't belong there. Also, ads in 30 seconds. Ow! How is this... like this? So close to just cutting this and tying it together. Well, that feels like it was. Oh, never mind. I was like, maybe that was significant.
The number of incomplete, incoherent questions that I, I now have in quotes. Are we, oh, are we doing your progress? Did we, did we get somewhere here? Oh, <gasps> we have? Maybe? Tune in next time for Kiwi Untangles More Yarn. I did it! Oh god. That was exhausting. All it took was half an hour and an ad break. Okay. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. Okay, well now I know why the yarn was getting stuck inside the skein there. It was literally tangled in a knot. So now we have how is this and why is stream elements? I stand by why is stream elements. Are we, we're back from ads, we're back from ads. In skein in the membrane. It's insane, it's in the skein. Thanks, that's gonna get stuck in my head. In my head. Who was that? That wasn't Cypress Hill, was it? No, it wasn't Cypress Hill. That was such a long time ago. It was, oh God. Oh dear. I don't know where that came from. I can't remember half the time if I've eaten today or not, but I can remember Cypress Hill from 90 Mumble. I literally can't remember anything else that they did. I think I need to email. It's it's about due for my monthly email to Epidemic where I go, Hey, so can we filter out Christmas music now that it's not Christmas, please? Okay, please. Three? Was one of them about 
can we please have exclusion tags like exclude tags <laughs> it's like i've been asking you for it for years please I mean, I don't, I don't pretend to understand the, the coding behind the system. But I feel like if you can specify to add a tag, you should be able to specify to not have a tag. But perhaps I'm oversimplifying it in my lack of knowledge. I mean, they're pretty good about answering tickets and answering questions. Oh, that's weird. I always love when I'll occasionally get a a um a fake copyright claim on one of their tracks. Someone pretending to be epidemic and uh I'll email epidemic and be like, hey, you know, just to let them know and they're like, What song is it? It's like I stream for anywhere from six to ten hours a day. I pick a playlist, like a genre or a mood, filter it down to non-vocals, and then I just push play, and it's on shuffle. I don't know what song it was. My current playlist has 1,000 tracks. <laughs> oh. It is so weird. Wait, is that what happened when you were playing the marching band music the other day and then it went kind of weird and sideways? Oh, okay. Oh, yes, AI. Well, that, yeah, good job. Also, marching music for truck sim, perfect. did before but this is fine I had a, uh, a 90s rock playlist yesterday for Project Zomboid and I really enjoyed it I don't know if anyone else cared for it, but I enjoyed it. It's like the game set in the 90s, it's period music for the game. Yeah.
Uh, maybe not. Wait, what time is it in New Zealand right now? 5 p.m. Eh? Mm, nah, probably not. I think this is gonna whoopsie. This is gonna be my last row for the night, I think. I think what I might do as well with that, that little scarf swatch. I'm gonna take a picture and post it in Discord. And then I'm not gonna look at it until tomorrow. Yeah. Scarf swatch. And then I'll decide if I like it or not, because I found sometimes with craft projects that it's really hard to decide if you like them because you're looking at them as a series of components rather than like an overall thing. Ooh, okay. So, so my, I just like to point out that it's really hard to raid you if you're not streaming and if you're here. I can't raid you. <laughs> I, yeah, I believe I'm somewhere between three and five right now. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I think, like, I think part of it for me is that the color palette, like, I love the colors, and I love that they're pride flag colors. But I don't normally go for really bright, bold colors, so the color combination is unusual to me. Even though I think it, the colors look great together, and the mismatch of colors and rows is jarring but it's not bad so there's like a few elements that i'm just like mm. so yeah it's definitely I do, i've done it with a few things even with like some of those hades bees where i'd like put it down don't look at it for a day and then decide I also feel like it might be one of those things that'll uh, improve as more gets added to it. Thank you. That is worth a lot, Wayne. I appreciate that. A lot of my reticence is just self lack of self-confidence as well. 
so I appreciate the kind words. I mean, ultimately, it's not me that has to wear it. This is the project that'll be getting given away in January next year. Which feels weird to be planning a year ahead like that for stream, but... Who's on Twitch right now? You put a ho oh yeah. Does that motivate you? I can see that would be useful. Oh, yeah, my hands are getting sore. Well, that's cool. I hope it works out well for you. I bought a, a planner last year. I don't use it a lot, but it was a... It's got stickers, but I never use them, but yeah. Well, I haven't even flipped into January yet, so there we go. Um, But I do like that I've got like the month overview and then the weeks. And I've just been using it for like game releases and, and like things for stream that I'm interested in. Um, and it's taken a little, it's taken a few months to start getting in the habit of using that. <laughs> but in terms of like my own, um, yeah, for sure. My own sort of development, I've got this this app that I use called Dailyo and it's like a, a journaling app but it's just pictures or images that um you know like you pick your mood and then I just mark off what activities I've done for the day and I can put my own things in there and I I'm not good at putting words down I can talk to the co the cows come home but I can't express myself in words for writing. But this has saved me a few times where I've been like, oh, I haven't done anything. Why am I so tired? And then I'll go back and be like, oh, wait, but I did some streaming stuff today and I, you know, I had a good meal and, and we went out and I did this, that and the other. And, uh, you know, like it's got, yeah, I've been doing it for two and a half thousand days. Um, but it lets you see like correlations between like mood and activity as well which is really useful so apparently Mondays I find quite rubbish which is weird because it's my usual day off and I like Wednesdays and Fridays so and apparently I'm not very balanced right now But yeah, it's it's an interesting little app, but that's like it's been the only thing that I've found that it kind of like every day at eight o'clock I get my little it like pops up on my phone and for some reason it's the only reminder I get every day that I actually pay attention to. I mean, 
mean, yeah, I think so. And I mean, we were talking about it earlier today, like stream most of the time, if I'm having a rough day and I stream, the company of people in here makes me feel better. Whereas on days off, I'm left alone with this stuff. And you know, the days that I'm streaming, I tend to eat better, I tend to drink better, I'm more likely to stand up and stretch. Because chat reminds me to take care of myself, otherwise I'll forget. And then I'll get to the end of the day and be shaky and really uncomfortable because I need to wee and have cold feet because I've forgotten to take care of all those needs. Because apparently I'm a child. Um, has anyone got any raid target suggestions? Because it's heckin' quiet right now. Thanks, Blackma. Oh god. It's true, we do. I, You know what? I remembered to water my plant today. But I still haven't watered myself enough. <laughs> um. Aslan. Oh, what's Aslan? I don't think I even follow Aslan. Let me see what she's up to. I don't I don't have the energy for as uh, for Marv. <laughs> Marv's Marv's a lot, especially after a craft stream. Del Ira? Nah, she sounds dumb. What's Lolzy? Oh god, what? everyone's doing. <laughs> Just want I want chill. Oh Lolzy Pot's got her cat out. She's got her cat in her lap. Is cute cat. Alright. So I know I said Marv was too loud, but I'm rating Lolzy Pop, who's an absolute sweetheart, but she's playing Valorant, so definitely a vibe change. Um, so I will be back on Wednesday. I plan to be back on Wednesday, which is my birthday, but I don't know if we have plans. So I, it may be Thursday, Wednesday at some point this week, but I will let you all know. Um, Thank you, Luna. Um, don't forget, um, if you haven't entered in for the blanket giveaway, there's a link in Discord in the notifications channel, um, or you can just do ticket or enter enter in chat. Uh, you don't need to be here to win. It'll be being drawn Sunday next week at 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, I'll probably be doing a ping out at some, well, not a ping, but posting the naughtiest people of 2023. Um, and then I'll be doing a whip around to try and get people's addresses for the naughty or nice gifties. I don't know if there's anything else. Oh, and also don't forget to make your sims. Um, all right, I'm going to get the raid started. Um, here. I don't know if I've updated this one. I don't think I have. Hang on. Buttons. Here. There's my my raid messages. I I updated it, Bakma. So now it works. Um so yeah, feel free to come and join us to visit Lozzy Pop. Like I said, she's really lovely. She plays a bunch of games from like chill stuff like Planet Zoo to Valorant and other chaotic physics y social games, which I don't understand, but apparently the youth do. Um 
I will see you all in a couple of days. <clears throat> Thanks for hanging out with me this week and keeping my mind off my cramps today. I appreciated it a lot. I really need to wee, so I'm just going to go now. Okay, bye.